So I have a huge farm, I have power, lots and lots of fuel, and all the space in the world, and zero, well, little risk until I leave. Then I almost get bit constantly because I'm a moron. But hey, that's life, you know what I mean? So we definitely do want the jack. Where's that jack at? Wait. Was there a scissor jack in here? I know I have one. I just don't know where. Oh, there it is. There it is. I see what you're talking about. Jack is definitely going to count. For now. Raid yesterday. Super duper appreciated. No problem, Josie. It's all about building community and spreading some positivity around here. And it's a lot more exciting having people coming in and knowing folks, you know? So I suggest uh, also, since you're pretty new to streaming, is uh, always raid. It's just good. It gives the people that are currently watching your stream, they're likely going to be bored and they're going to find somebody else to watch. Instead, you guys can all go as a group and just make somebody's evening. Or, if anything, make it a little bit better. But don't raid channels that are too big. I personally don't. Because um, they won't notice. <laughs> they don't tend to notice unless you find somebody who's really, really on top of it. Because they've got a lot to focus on. The endless inventory management. Oh, the <laughs> real PC experience. <laughs> yes, Josie. Then you just had, like, endless heaping piles of... <laughs> like, just... Jewelry. You were rich, though, so I could give you that. But, oh yeah, that just that just hits the obsessive-compulsive in me so hard. I'm like, I want everything nice and organized. Every single game I play, every box is always... At work, even, all of my tools. I am a mechanic. <laughs> always organized. I hate running around looking for crap. Oh no, it's actually completely full. What have I done? <laughs> my bad okay so I need three planks I know this is going to go towards the shed up here but I need them like now just grab all the nails I don't care no organization like floor organization I don't know how is he tired stop being drowsy I guess I woke up at five okay build a wooden crate we are not done here, sir. I guess one thing that really draws me in is the realism simulation aspect of it. So if you were there, how would you want everything to be nice and set up? Well, in reality, since you play the game so much and you end up needing to re you die so often, um, a lot of times it's better just to organize once by doing that. And then you don't have to waste your time. And then suddenly you're going to die and you're not going to be like, ah, you're not going to be sad that you wasted 22 hours making sure every single thing was meticulously placed. Every spoon in an, a row. And then suddenly it's like, and you got bit. Then you sit there and flip the table in rage. At least that's what I plan on doing. Just getting straight fucking livid. Yeah, maybe, maybe not. I probably won't. I will be devastated. And no matter what I say, on the inside I will be crying. Because this is a guy who has made it the longest. This is my this is my mad lad. If K for a bit, I have to strain deep pry oil from this morning. Oh, fair enough, my god. Yeah, you're gonna want to get that cleaned up. That's not a bad idea either. Hmm. This fridge. I swear I had extra tools in here. No, I got a metal bar though. I guess I kind of do. Oh, useless, useless, useless. You know what, maybe I should just empty this all out with the exception of the cigarettes, because I don't smoke. Whoops. Okay, maybe we'll leave the tire. That thing's going to take up my whole freaking inventory. You kind of only want to take the tire if you absolutely fucking need to, don't you? Okay, that's everything of value out of here for now. J 
yeah, this is a phenomenal area to hold. Absolutely adore it. And having the generator there makes the power hit pretty much everywhere in the, in the entire school. Yeah, I still got more food in there. We're good. Okay, adhesive tape and stuff. Beauty. Can you do anything with a gardening spray can? I have no idea. Welder's mask needs to go into the tools. There we go. So as I get more and more tools, I can put them there. If I ever need anything, I likely have it there. The last thing that I need is a sledgehammer. And I just have not found one anywhere. Just has not been in the cards for me. Grabs the nails. Leaves the wood. Saws the logs? No, no logs here. Okay, there's the, there's my logs. I don't have a saw on me, do I? Ah, I can fix that. Alright, garden saw always 0.7. So does normal saw, so it doesn't make two shits different. That's too bad. There isn't, like, a premium saw. Okay, there we go. So I should be able to... Pick those planks up real quick. Yeah, let's start there. Yeah, that's... Here's the plan, Stan. Too bad you also can't do anything with wrecked weapons, it seems. Or Josie, do you know if you can, or Aether? More experienced people than me, help! Okay, there we go. Okay, perfecto. Bing bong. I'm trying to get everything that can be used as a melee weapon all in the same place as well. Because I have zero idea what my inventory is. Bread knives and forks count. Kitchen knives should be in the kitchen. Ice pick is a fucked up weapon, but it's fine. Do -do -do. Spoon for some reason qualifies as a weapon. Game says so, so let's go. Let's go, gamers. <laughs> Put a spoon on the tip of a spear and rock and roll. It's shockingly effective. Red knife, cast the weapon. I think the broom only qualifies. Oh, oh, that's it for me. Made some fried chicken strips from a couple breasts I had this morning. Got a new deep fryer and going nuts. Well, yeah, if you got if you got yourself a new deep fryer, you have to. It's obligatory, you know. It's it's a part of your life now. Then you do it and you do it until one day you're like, man, I look like I'm eating nothing but deep fried food, <laughs> and then you stop. When you start to look like the deep fryer. But until then, it's glorious. Who am I kidding? Even after then, it was still glorious. Man. Okay, so it turns out I've got a hoarding problem. I haven't hoarded enough! Hoorah! <laughs> All right, the metal bar. Pretty dope. It does slightly more damage, but I think it's a two-handed weapon. I think I'm going to start rolling with that over the lead pipe. 
Considering I have so many of them, apparently. The compared... Nope. I think the lead pipe... Still does slightly more. Yeah, lead pipe is still king. Unless there's an advantage to wielding in both hands. Okay. Anybody know? Yeah, toys. Useless to me. It's okay, I can't do this forever. Eventually, it's all got, got to get organized, right? Right? Have the option you shouldn't. Okay, Aether Fiend. Hmm. Is there any way to toggle between two hands and uh, one handed? Melee, weapon, rack, firearm, aim, no, manual floor attack, no. Hmm. Because can I use the lead pipe? Maybe that's the trade-off. Hey, Nova Zero, welcome back to the stream. It's been a while. How's RimWorld been treating you? It weighs 0.5 in my hands. What? Apparently I can't use it with two hands. Is that just, that's just the metal bar? Okay, never mind. The metal bar is exactly the same as the lead pipe. That's kind of disappointing. But, yeah, it ends up being 0.45. Makes no difference. No one survived. Finished another colony by summoning Cthulhu. <laughs> wow. Does it, so is that counting as a win? Like, since it was your goal, you know, you went out there, you, you set out, you had a goal, you want to summon Cthulhu. And you, then you summon Cthulhu. I think you won. If you decide that's a good thing, then you're laughing. No, not the pen. Damn it. This is ridiculous. But it's going to pay off. I've been wanting to do this for so long just because it's such a mess that I need something and I lose time constantly. So what... What? There's obviously a mod to summoning Cthulhu. What does Cthulhu do? Does he just murder everyone? Or if you kill him, do you win or what? Technically? You're like, I, I won. Oh no, silver doesn't go in there. You silly bitch. And yes, I am also collecting um, jewelry and gold. Because why not? You know, if I'm going to live, I might as well be rich. The legs is what I want. Yeah, knee length skirt. That one always creeps up on you. More keys. Hell yeah. Interesting thing is, is this is going to give me an idea also of the drop rates and stuff in the game. So I guess it's a good thing. Alright, he takes over the world and his reward for his followers is a swift and painless death. Well, shit. With a deal like that, sign me up. <laughs> Alright, guys. Alright, here's the deal. I want everyone in the world to give me all their money. All of it. 
Your reward is that you'll be broke. It's pretty good, eh? You know, that's that's a pretty good deal. It's about what Cthulhu's selling. So you count it as getting a colony win, but you cause the end of the world. That's that's respectable. And I think it had to be done. Random game, whatever. Yes, level up that cooking. That's what I'm all about. Life is good when you got lots of food, you know? I can't remember who it was that told me about uh, essentially just freezing everything, so always picking up bowls and pots and everything like that, because they end up taking up less weight overall in storage, so that over the winter, they just become a bunch of storage in your freezers, and you pop them out as you need them, and then you just cook them then. We'll put a potato in each. Why on God's green earth did you guys change slots? Two cabbage, oh, that's why. Add potato. You add potato. Then both get a broccoli. Slap in that broccoli. Hell yeah. And if we fucking burn this, I am going to be very upset. But I want to go do something else. Okay, so for me to do that, we're going to set an alarm for 21.50. Oh, son of a bitch. Can't walk while setting an alarm. Okay. That goes off. We come back. In the meantime, we don't need to just stand there looking at it. Wasting time. Wasting daylight freaking hours, guys. As I waste time to do a hand gesture. So yeah, you streaming tonight there, Nova? Actually, yeah, what time is your normal stream schedule? When somebody's streaming, you typically can't see it, I don't think. I guess you could go on Stream Tracker and then decipher. Yeah, man. You put them shoes away. It ain't rocket science. Yeah, there it is. Food's ready. Burnt it once. Never again. See, that was burning. It was not burnt. We're good. Wednesdays and Thursdays, since they're my days off. I try to do Sundays, too, sometimes. Oh, okay, so... Not too terribly often. That's fair. It's really... It's really challenging to... Schedule it in with work. I... Could not agree more... With that decision. But... I don't know. I also would be playing games at night anyways. I don't have any other dedications. It's getting late. It's too late. Let's just go to bed. Tomorrow I definitely have to check the generator, though. That's just gotta happen. Quit, my man. We gotta work out before bed. Gotta get buff, and we missed today. So, there we go. Hopefully that works. Eventually. One day we're gonna gain a level of strength. Then we're going to see our damage go up, and it's going to be an absolutely fantastic day. I didn't set the freaking alarm. If I wake up past 8, I'm going to be pissed. You bored? Too bad, son. I did turn the oven off, didn't I? Well, 
Read that. Wake up. Have something to munch on. There you go. Read a magazine. There we go. He wants to get some chuckles, too. Now let's check the oven before we're burning and screaming it on fire instead of chuckling. I did leave the oven on. Well, it's going to be warmer in the house. And uh, we definitely need to check on that generator, like, right now. It's probably about to run out of fuel. Son of a bitch. That is, like, a big no-no. In the land of Project Zomboid, that is how you die when things are going too well. Okay, it's only a 51%, so... Yeah, it's fine. Man, that generator goes for a really long time, even with what I got going. It kind of makes sense. That's probably like, what? 1 to 200 amp. And I'm putting in... I have no idea how big the jerry cans are. They, they don't tell you. They ha say how much per liter, but then they don't tell you how much fuel you fucking put in it. So like this... We'll burn X liters per hour. It's like, well, how many liters are in it? They're like, mm. So, like, you'd have to sit there and fucking watch it to figure out how many liters you put in because you'd have to calculate it in reverse from the hour, which is horrifically rude of them to do. In my opinion. Looking in this is starting to be a problem. Ugh. <laughs> I picked up so many clothes and things. Ah, well. I just stand in the middle of a bunch of them, I can kind of just sift through. I am getting absolutely loaded rich, though. Look at all that silver and gold. Diamonds and a locket, man. Did you turn and put them? No, no, we're good, we're good. Pants, get out of here. Alright, and denim is apparently really good for patching up your armor. That idea seems really, really cool, but unfortunately I've never found a freaking sewing needle. So that puts me kind of up shit creek. Are there any stores you guys can think of that would have one guaranteed? Or just very likely even? I'll fucking take anything. How did he break a sweat when it's 16 degrees Celsius? Fucking folding. Not even folding. I'm just jamming them in there. I guess I am still at a sh Oh, no. I, my weight is trending down, but man, am I, is he just... I just gained... I just really packed it on before, didn't I? No self-control. I didn't think about the ramifications of living on donuts and chips and orange soda for a month. This guy gained like 15 kilograms. 
How does that happen? That's while well, running every day. Like, good God. I guess the game devs didn't go too hard into in, do, in doing the math on calories. But that seems like a ridiculous background process to worry about. It would be cool. You guy actually gets hungry based on calories used. And every action ends up having an attribute of how many calories are getting consumed. So if you just sat somewhere, it would just take you longer to get hungry and you wouldn't have to eat as much. That would be nifty, but it seemed it would probably chunk down the game. We've seen it rain, and uh, maybe not the best idea for this engine. Lots of skirts. I guess I could run around in a skirt. If I wanted to <laughs> cool off. But they give you a run speed modifier. What? Well, I've never tried running in a skirt, so I guess I can't really say much about that. Take note, I don't need to be shy about anything. It's not like a zombie's gonna sneak a peek. He's a thick boy. Yeah, he is an over zero. And I've dropped weight. I was at 95 kilos before. I've been trending down for a long fucking time, eating mostly salads, and now I just finally started eating stir fries with small games. So there's like a pigeon. A pigeon, mostly potatoes and cabbage and stuff, and I'll eat about one of those trays a day, I think, roughly. Come on. So close. I think I got all the jewelry, which is kind of weird. Got lots of skirts. Polo neck sweater, that's going to be excellent for the winter. It's just a little bloody. Fine. Sure, it's not stained or nothing. Blood comes right out. It's a little bit of water, just good to go. Right? And I wonder, do they take into effect camo? Oh my god, it's full. What do I do about that? I didn't think this could happen. That's just for the tops. What do I have, like, an unlimited amount of? Okay, can you, like, just give me a fucking break and let me... Thank you. T-shirts. I got so many damn t-shirts. You know what? No. <laughs> Don't do that. Let's take the t-shirts. Okay, now I can put the rest of these in here. No, that's the that's the shoes. Son of a bitch. I worked so hard just to put shoes in there. Did I did I successfully No, I don't think I successfully did. Take time. Okay, good. I'm just gonna tear up the rest of these because uh they're kind of my style and I don't appreciate them. Sneakers. Run speed. Ugh, they increase your speed, but don't give you defense. Okay, cool. And this is also going to be good for going through and comparing everything. Basic shoes decrease your speed. I don't have any more combat boots, do I? What condition are mine in? Because once they break, I'm fucked. Oh, okay, well, they're dying. Huge bite defense on them. But yeah, if you just want to go through and compare everything, I think this is going to be the way to do it. Then let's rip. There we go. 
Goodbye, t-shirts. We have thread. Whoopty fucking doodle. Get it equipped for some reason. Do you get thread from ripping up shirts? Just little bits of it. I wonder. Hmm. I don't know. Ugh. <laughs> I thought we did it! I was like, I did it! I did not do it. Not even close. Oh yeah, I need to eat. Huge amounts of food from these things. 116 on that stir fry. I might be eating too soon with how good those are. Actually. Hmm. I need... Yeah, I know, Trent. There's so much in there. And he's bored. Turns out he doesn't like organizing all day. You guys are like, I sympathize with him. Do something. Just wait. This is important. To be. Okay, boredom, go down. Go away. Piss off. Checking our crops. And that'll be all the organization I'm going to do for now. Um, afterwards, I kind of want to organize out different resources, but I don't know how. I don't want to have, like, one bin for one thing. And I don't understand the crafting system well enough to just, like, rock and roll in one direction or another. But thank God it's raining, by the way. So these things can all continue growing. More radishes, please. You know what? I think I'm going to predominantly use radishes for worms. It just makes sense to me. The radishes, I have so many of them. Oh, then again, that's only 23. So this stuff's all going to start rotting, apparently, and then it's going to start giving me worms, I think is how that works. So, since the radishes produce such a super, 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 super small amount of food, I do need new boots. I agree. That makes sense to me. And the birds are phenomenal for, uh, well, they're going to level up my trapping, and that's important, so I need the worms to keep the birds going. And I don't feel like doing this all the damn time. And they don't go away, so that means you need to go through afterwards and fill them, and it's just a big pain in the ass. I already got enough pain in the ass stuff to do. I want to do the fun stuff. I want to go on an adventure. But I need to have my ducks in the row or else everything's going to be a hassle and I'm going to forget stuff more often and stuff just gets lost. And you really don't need to tend to the crocs, to crocs, crops too often. So I still think it's worth it to have a pretty decent farm going. Actually, I'll put the excess worms in here. So when I go to leave, I just grab a bunch of worms and away I go. Actually, no, 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 no. Yeah, yeah. And I'm going to be back and forth to there anyways whenever I'm digging furrows. So that makes sense to me. Hmm. Man, can I plant radishes for days, though. actually completely fucking ridiculous how many radishes I can plant. I'm probably going to end up needing to start trashing radish seeds because they're going to end up stealing all the storage in there. And it's going to suck trying to pick them all up. Okay, next thing that I want to do Me a Mr. Desk. No! No! Do not pick up stuff. Drop the pen. Dangerously overburdened. Not anymore, we ain't.
け。Pick up the name. I like how he turns it off first. Never noticed that before. There we go. And yeah, now we can put the lamp here. Perfect, though. Then I should be able to build a fence. Okay, so that's just a couple planks and nails. Do I have any nails? I don't think I do. I keep running them all over the damn place. Did I leave? Please set it on the desk. Thank you. Ooh. Okay. Since that one time I fell, I really don't want to fall again, so... If I'm gonna die, I wanna at least die to a Z, damn it. Not falling off of things like a dumbass. I guess if you had yourself really lightly kitted out with like just sneakers and uh, you just kind of ran around that way. I need four planks. Um, you could actually make every single run count more. You're just in more danger the entire time. You'd be able to carry a lot more. Um, back, because you think about how many runs I've done throughout the entire course of this. If I wasn't fully armored up all the time, then I would have been able to carry back so much more shit. But I've been, had a couple of really close encounters, like my coat was all torn up for a damn reason. Actually, that's because the last guy died, so let's not get too on top of it. Now, there we go. I cannot fall off anymore. As long as I walk between these, and I should be able to see always because the lamp is there, then that makes this actually safe. So I like that. No more pissing around with falling off of stuff. That's dangerous. Okay, and what's my metal working at right now? Um, I don't think it's fully boosted, is it? It probably is. Yeah, it's gotta be. Metal working for intermediates. Yeah, 260 out of 260. We good. We Gucci. No, I don't need the saw anymore. Not the right box. But what I do want is this. And this. Very nice. They are useless for anything but XP farming. I guess they're gonna give me metal bars and stuff as I go along. So there is that, you know, that's pretty cool. Or not, you know, whatever. Yeah, but you would have gotten killed exactly what I was thinking. Also running through trees and bushes will damage you and tear your clothing. Oh yeah. That's what makes it so brutal to go out into the woods. How do you prefer to play Aether Fiend? Or yeah, and for anybody who doesn't have the game, how would you rather do it? Would you rather run out into the middle of the bushes and bushwhack it? Or try to post up in town close to lots of resources? Like I did. Josie seems to have the method of going out into nowhere, but then I stopped by a little bit later and, I, and checked out a couple other clips. And... Oh, yeah. And she seems to do it multiple different ways. There we go. 
Gaining levels out here. Not very good at this, but he'll get there. No! Damn it! Why is my life so hard? I like the city base personally, and I like to drive to all the other cities and truck stops and stuff. Yeah. I think I'm turning the prison into my base once I've cleared it out. I'm not sure yet. The prison would be so cool. I'm excited to see that. It's kind of like end game kind of content that you're looking for when you're venturing into the prison. And some of the, the bigger cities. Oh, there's another one in here. There's a steam over right here. Probably the same way you did. Alright, just kind of post up somewhere and go from there. Because the first time I played, I definitely was out in the middle of nowhere. And uh, super dependent on vehicles, except for it consumes so much of your day just driving all the way there and back. What you gain in safety, you lose in functionality. You know? Well, practicality, I guess. Killed like 1,300 or 1,400 there today alone. I haven't even stepped into the building. <laughs> oh my gosh. How did you kill 1,400? How did your weapons not break? How did this happen? Teach me. Or did you just run around making more and more and more spears? bonus is getting pretty huge. So you just ran around blasting your gun all, the, all over the place. Yeah, except for accuracy is so trash. I guess you probably have uh, some mods on that help. And you have to shoot them so many times. Where'd you get all the bullets? You could take thousands of pounds worth of bullets. I'm not even... Not just volume, but the weight. Like... I'd like to see how you did that. Because I've found between all the houses maybe 60 rounds. Then it can take upwards of 5 to 6 bullets from pistol to kill a Zed. Probably would use the guns. You would use the guns too, Trent? Well, don't worry. Next time that I play, I'm definitely going to have the mod, uh, some mods going. And when I die, I'm going to switch over and grab a bunch of mods. Even midstream, I don't care. Has it all in it? Damn. I'm going to bet police station or something. Oh, nice. Then use the sledge to knock it out. Did you cheese the game a little bit? Just a little bit. You're like, no. I would never do that. I think you did. Which I think is fine. Again, this game cheeses the shit out of you. Cheese it back. Oh, I forgot about those 43 radishes. Yeah, I could do that too. But it's typically not the zombies that are close that are an issue. You know? Okay. This is getting ridiculous. I guess as soon as I become no longer fresh, anything that's not fresh... Oh, piss off, dog. If it ain't fresh, it goes in the compost. I need worms. Hmm. Well, specifically, the radishes, actually. Everything else, like cabbages and potatoes, produce a lot of food value. So if anything, I really need to uh, slap them into other things. 
We'll just slip a drillion radishes and crap in here. Should at some point eventually, apparently, start getting me fucking worms, damn it. Oh, then potato. Okay, I don't have enough potato seeds to fuck around with. I can fuck around with more tomato seeds. I don't think I will, though. And I could do a little bit more broccoli. Yeah, we'll do we'll do more broccoli. Smart though, not all the time. Yeah, only using the guns when the situation is very fitting to what you're doing. Like smart lad instead of a dumb lad. Which dumb lads become dead lads very quickly. Cop car parked with its sirens on and basically just stood there and shot into the mob. It took about four in-game days. Wow, did the battery die or did they finally destroy the cop car or what? attack the car really they just run into it no battery didn't die wow don't know how that works out the battery just dies when you drive around it's like in this game they're like oh the alternator doesn't exist unless the engine's running the battery won't die it's like nope typically takes about like a day if you leave the headlights on. i'm back welcome back mike lad it's good to see you man okay cornered out the field on that end and I'm really tempted just to radish slam down it. You know what? Nah, it's just it's just, nah, it's just too janky. This will produce more than enough radishes to get worms, I hope. We need to we need to give it an honest effort. And I don't put the worms in unless I'm going to leave or else the chaps won't produce results. So just the way life is right now. Tough. No, fuck this chair. I hate the gray chair. Thank you. And all of these are just steel bars. They're weapons for me. And do I got anything in here? Nope, just a couple more desks kicking around. Very good, I do like my desks. All the food storage in the world. Disassemble object. The stall. I think. No, the doors. Oh. Each one of these doors can be disassembled for hinges and things. Wait. Oh, that would suck. That's a terrible fucking idea to hide from a zombie. Oh, well, way. Oh, so many people that I know are just jumping online and playing on Steam. You know what? I don't need that right now. That's that's just a waste of my time and your time. And Yeah. Garbage bag? The last of the garbage bags. Okay, that's all I needed. Okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's raining. Oh, my gosh, yes. And I have nails, right? I got nails? Yeah, I do. Where's the other garbage bag? Where's the garbage bags at? Oh, he's looting the wrong one. There we go. Okay, that gives us enough garbage bags. Now I just need, like, what, four boards? Okay, so that means I need to math this out. Which is kind of a pain in the ass. Overall, all in all, let's, let's be honest. But, to lead to the door... Needs to go to the bottom left. One, two, three, four, five. Mm 
16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Four, three. So if I go three this way, then 20 that way. Three. No, I want to go two. Yeah, two. All right. Oh, I was, was I going from the wrong damn door? Okay, yeah, it might have been. So that was five. Twenty-three. Okay. I, I don't want to fuck this up because I could wreck all the garbage bags. Yeah. Two, then twenty-three. I can do that. I can do that. This is how you build on a roof from somewhere else. First time I did it, I had to use a marker of a tin can outside. Then calculate their vector change from being low to high. Which was weird, but I did it. And it worked. I'm slowly using all of my boards. I was telling people about the game, and they didn't seem interested. Then I said it was like The Sims meets the Zombie Apocalypse. Then they checked it out. That's Yeah, that is definitely the way to describe it. A lot of people love The Sims, but if you describe The Sims to people, they're like, that seems stupid. <laughs> Why would I do that? Okay, I need... Hey! Three out of four. Okay, so that means one of the garbage bags is actually holding something. There it is. So, we need to do that. Then, unequip. There we go, furniture, there it is. Okay, so this is where the sink actually is. So, one, two, then one, two, three, four. It's gonna be up around here somewhere. think right there no he didn't he didn't actually start the build shit ah There we go, okay. Now that is collecting the Wawa's. So I should be able to go down and plumb the toilet and the sink into it. Hell yeah. Sorry, I'm just upgrading the shit out of my base right now. It's a great time. Great time to be alive. Okay, 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 come on. And... But... It should be right above it. Can you not... plumb a toilet? No. Or do you do it from the... thing? I thought it was 23. From the position. No, it's one off. No, I could wreck it. Have to go to from up there. 
Shit. I realized what I did. Because I started counting there versus here, right? Yeah, so it needs to be one more over. No. Because it's... Did I go one, two, then go straight? No. Fuck me. What? what, what? No, I need to pick it up while it's, no, before it fills up completely with water. Why is water inside? No. No. I have failed myself. Ugh. Or do you need a special tool to do plumbing? Have to, to. I need to be just above it and one square adjacent. Right? Or else it just doesn't work. Maybe I need the wrench or. Or else it just doesn't give me the option. Yeah, because I went. Starting here. One, two. Five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, it needs to be moved one more. Oh, that sucks. You guys are my fucking dumbass. It's like, I know. I know. We will see. You need a wrench? Well, it would kind of... I just don't think you actually do need it. Alright, I'll try. I'll try by grabbing the wrench first. Maybe maybe I was right the first time. Okay, grab the wrench. Let's go. Let's go, gamers. Yeah, but I do think I fucked it up. I think it's one too far back. And I'll never get all the rain out of it while it's raining. Yeah, or else it would give me the option there. I'll try, though. No, it's one more southwest. Oh, I put it one more back than I... Yeah. So I need to put it there. Okay, so how much water is currently in there? So let's go empty cooking pot. Let's go. So then we pour that on the ground. Then we fill the empty cooking pot. There we go. And he failed to get it, didn't he? And then I destroyed those garbage bags. Why is he shit today? Why are you so bad at fucking life? He has failed so many things. Well, we can remember this for next time. One down from there. Now I need four more fucking garbage bags. They are so notoriously annoying to find. After my initial, like, 20 that I got. What a douche. I hate him. Just, yes. <laughs> it's enough to drive a man insane. 30% chance of failure, and he fails 90% of the time. Oh, well. Do your fancy hanging sink. Please stop starting games. I need to turn off the steam over like this. Getting pretty damn annoying. Um, there's a garbage bag by the church where the generators are at. Are there? Is there? Yes, I want to go over there anyways. Lack of O2 with the welding mask on. Yeah, probably. He wears the welding mask on and just... Ooh, just fails everything. Slowly suffocating. Am I glad? You're probably right. For some reason, that just makes too much sense. Yep. 
Why is he doing so shit? Maybe it's the fact that he's tired? I don't know. 40% chance of getting something out of it. And I just did like eight in a row. Yeah, 40% chance. This is not 40% chance, man. It's like 8%, if that. Okay, I actually got some out of that one. Okay, now what am I going to do with these damn desks? I don't know yet. I can just kind of leave them in here for now. Okay. Blue plastic chairs ain't your friends. Apparently not, Dion. They just... My guy just can't fucking figure out this cutting stuff thing. He's like... I can't believe he hasn't blown himself up yet. It is just a matter of time. <laughs> That'd be great if there's just an odds. There's just, there's just just that chance that every time you go to start welding something, that he's going to fuck up the ignition process and blow up the whole damn thing. Then he just erupts in flames and it's like, you're dead. Because that's what happens when people who have no fucking idea what they're doing try to use a cutting torch. And they're this stupid, like, come on. Yeah, yeah, look at my gear. <laughs> look at his fucking dude. Look at that, Chad. He looks hilarious. Alright. Forgot I gave him the fucking spiky hair. Because I normally wear a helmet. I wear some kind of armor. Or a hat. Cutting torch ain't that complicated. Yeah, exactly, Dion. It's your skill. Don't trust what they say. Lol. If your skill is low, some is the chance. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, true. That's probably lower than I even think it is. So, fucking level 3. This is not bad. I don't think that's too terribly bad, but apparently it is. Oh, and I wanted to set this up. Yeah, battery chargers. Because it's cool, and I like it. Magazine sh certainly shouldn't be in there. So much nonsense. <laughs> Just so much nonsense in these. But I think I've done a good job of just kind of whittling out all of the stuff that I tend to use or want to use and just kind of setting this to very specifically crafting orientated crap. Those are cool. I want to make bombs out of the hairspray. I want to make bombs so bloody bad. And I can't dismantle a makeshift radio for god knows what reason. Okay, this is all good. Okay, all good. You didn't start getting planks good until you reached level 5. True. Yeah, Trent, you're right. Hey, sorry, I tried to know that. No problem, Blake Morley. Welcome back to the stream, man. Were you born in a barn because you're always leaving the doors open? Well, no, I just don't give a shit. It's, 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 yeah, it's going to slow me down. Honestly, it's not a bad idea to keep the doors shut, interestingly enough, Dion, especially if we get broken into.
metal pipe. I have lots and lots of weapons. And capacity to make weapons. I don't know what spoons on the end of the spears are going to do for me, but it seems like a funny thing to try. Okay, I'm keeping my ammo and guns in here, just so that one day, when I decide to go absolutely fucking AWOL, I can't. Why do I have this crap? Every time I turn around, I just got more junk. But it's okay. It is actually starting to get refined down. I'm starting to become a fine-tuned machine. And once it's organized once... Fucking organized. Just done. You know? Until you make an absolute fucking mess of it. But I think you're supposed to just drop this. Then that will give you the prompt to attack a attach a battery charger to it. Thing, it's in power. I don't know. But that's there now. So that's how that's going to be. More glass. There we go. And I, how many? I gotta have like 300 batteries at this point. I don't use any of them, but I got them. And because I skinnied everything down so well. I should be able to do this. And it's easy to hop stuff down the lockers, actually. Oof, this one's full. Yeah, makes sense. Yeah, okay. Getting bored, yeah, I know. Alright. Last day pissing her out of inventory. You guys are like, he said that last time. But honestly, aside from picking up all the scrap garbage wood that I have on the ground, <clears throat> that's essentially all I got to do. Which is nice. Oh, you're sick? No. Hopefully not very sick. And always turn off the light when you're sleeping. If they come in, they should go and walk around the generator. <clears throat> Food poisoning. Oh, no. Eat a gas station corn dog or burrito. Yeah, Taco Bell, that's just what happens. Don't don't worry about it. You're not sick. You just Taco Belled. Applebee's. Aw, oh, that's too bad. Applebee's. Actually, I've only ever eaten at Applebee's once, and it wasn't that great. Canada doesn't have a whole lot of them. Alright, so today, I want to go to a point of interest. I love that green light being there. Just saying, it's cool. Here's Taco Bell. What could go wrong? Exactly. Hmm. Another thing I could do is slam down like a generator, maybe, with some lights over here. And then, whenever Zeds are around, they'll kind of filter down to this corner, somewhere that I don't... Oh yeah, I still need to check those farmhouses! Okay, we'll do the farmhouses first. Yeah, just young broccoli, whatever. Blooming taters. Ready for harvest radishes. 
be cool if there's deer and stuff to hunt too. Both times I had Applebee's, I got sick. This been well. Don't don't eat there anymore, man. Stop hurting yourself. I have an iron stomach too. Well, apple beats iron, I guess. Today it does. I love the lighting effects changing as the sun rises and sets and differences between twilight. The fact that the sun rises later and later every day. You know, just all kinds of nice little touches that they put in. Yeah, you're fine. You can keep that thing going for eternity. Not if you can't drive. Fuck Applebee's. You can eat anywhere. Um, you can also order in. Do not forget that. You know what? I'm going to leave. I need to cook. But I'm actually going to do it. I'm going to leave the hammer behind. I don't normally do that. Ooh. And I know that I had extra kitchen knives. So much good stuff. Postmate or Uber Eats, all good. Yeah, exactly. It'll be fine. So, what I'd like to do... How much is left of this? Only a quarter. So screw it. We'll go for super, super well fed. Weird how he ends up taking an extra one out. Yeah, like this game is super tiny. Yeah, whatever. Think I'm out of taters. Yep. Come on. There we go. Salt and pepper both. No, what the fuck? It was all adding it all to this one. You suck at life. I hate this little shit. Stupid UI. Now you got three cabbage and you hate it. That is nobody's fault but your own. That's how I've been eating out? Yeah, well, yeah. I don't have a lot of options in the town I live in. I just tend to not eat out. Personally. And, and, and. Another tomato. The t tomatoes seem to have really high food content as well. Okay, so that's about all I can do with you guys. We got a day of adventuring ahead of us, so... I want that to be on. We're going to set a damn alarm. For 7.10, I think. And I can kind of mess around a little bit. No. I found more clothes. No, what have I done? 
Shit. Yeah, I may look like an insane man, Trent. I cook a lot. I'm not great at it, but... Gots to be done, and it saves money. Didn't want to pick up a whole frickin' schwack of clothes again, damn it. And it's still going. Uh, drop off something. Make the trip worth it. Sneakers. Other sneakers. We're almost out of time. Socks. Okay, more sneakers. Lots of sneakers. Okay, we're out of time. Yay! Thank you. I don't know. I, I don't mind cooking. I just... I'm not huge into it. Turn that off. Very good. They are off. Yeah, let's organize this out and then get down. Uh, get out to the farmhouses first, yes. If it's looking bad, I am not going there, but if it's looking good, the farmhouses are fresh, untouched lands. And I'm looking forward to seeing their beautiful bounty. Because I went in and I made sure the door opened and uh, the alarm didn't go off. Hey, Lex Real, welcome back to the stream. How you doing, dude? It's been like a whole day. Happy to see you back. Watch goes down here. Mark off here. Let me know. Yep, just organizing. But I am going out adventuring today, finally. Need new sounds. I'll change them all to new ones. Okay. I will have to do that after the stream, though. But yeah, I can just kind of go through. There's so, there's so many different sounds. It's a little time consuming, but I can just pick a random assortment constantly. Son of a bitch. Why? Why must I have unlimited amounts of clothing? All right, for the time being, let's put the extra tops in here. It's getting kind of ridiculous. I should probably shorten that list down, but I don't fucking want to right now. I want to be out adventuring. Done enough of this. Enough. Enough is enough. Okay, shouldn't sprint. Get impatient. I haven't seen them lately. Seen the cat lately. Ori? Yes, you won't see Ori in my room anymore. Since I got the office chair, because she will destroy the office chair in mere seconds after seeing that it's unpunctured and destroyed leather upholstery. It is the number one thing that she loves to annihilate. Why are you carrying four fresh cabbages? You tell him to make a couple stir fries, and then he wants to carry every cabbage in the fucking neighborhood. McMahon. Doggy. No. Enough. A knife. Yes, that's all fine and dandy. Only got food. Got some vitamins. Can eat a vitamin. Give that burst of energy, apparently. I don't know. Can't even store enough nails in there. Okay. I think we're finally good. With the exception of water. True. Except for I think I'm going to play... Um, make all of the ones that are literally designed to scare me or fuck up my game. Cost actual money. <laughs> That's right. This helps you mitigate drowsy, I think. Oh, really? So if you want to mess with me, you got to support the stream instead of this free yeet bullshit. Something's going on, and then I'm like, oh shit, this is intense, and it's a yeet just in the background, and everybody can afford like 200 of them. 
Right, nine o'clock isn't a bad time to get out. I swear, if you're seeding, okay, we're good. I just wanna. Okay, we're good. What a vape juice to help handle the stress. That's a great unknown. The great horror and torment that awaits. Well, I can go get her. Like, make a cup of coffee or tea. Yeah, I, I saw that you can make a cup of coffee or tea, except it also makes them unhappy to drink it when it's cold. So, in theory, you could come back, and I got lots and lots of coffee and lots and lots of tea, and I got kettles and I got water. Water and stuff were plenty. Um, but you'd want to come back, make it hot, then drink there, there at once it's hot, and go from there. From my understanding. Okay, so these are going to be the houses off in the middle of the woods. We're in pain just from exercise fatigue. It also means I'm going to be doing less damage per swing. But let's be honest, it probably never was that amazing to begin with. But boredom won't be a damage, you know, will it? This is ideal. That's why I want to keep everything organized. Shit. Do it and I'll spend money. <laughs> Sounds good. All right, I'll set those up afterwards. Like 60 quadrillion bits. But the scariest sound. Yeah, it depends. Unhappiness can be really easy to deal with sometimes. The wakefulness is more contextual, valuable than it. Yeah, true. I just don't know what happens when he gets sad. I could just see him willfully hang himself for some fucked up reason. Because the game be like that. All right, out this way. And I want to see, I think if I go down in that way, I'll end up at the uh, fire department and police station. I believe. Yeah. So there's this house out here, another one, and then there's two more across. That I want to check out. I'm definitely not checking all four of them today, most likely, but... I do not trust the woods at all. Definitely not going to be reading as much chat for the next little bit, considering this is a really dangerous section of the map. Slightly slowing all actions. Oh, okay. Yeah, I think the other house is out that away. This would be a pretty cool place to have a base too, but again, you have to run so far to get to any houses. If you're like, ah, I got like four hours left in the day, sometimes I'll just dip into a couple houses, take stuff apart, and come back. Try to make the most out of the day. Which bags? Garbage bags. <gasps> Garbage bags. I thought I checked those already, but we can always double check. Definitely hearing a zombie around here. Yeah, I checked them. Yeah, you are right where I left you. Yeah, hi. I'm just gonna break that for you. Come on out. Nobody's coming up behind me. Party for two. Are you going to join me? Where the fuck did it go? Where in the fuck did it go? What the shit? I don't like that. What the shit? I guess, yeah, I could do that too. Try that on the next house. I'm just worried about bringing in, like, a wave of them from the surrounding bushes. 
along with the one that's going to be crawling out of the window behind me. Hearing quite a few in here. I think. Yeah. Oh my gosh, what is this? Oh. You just kind of went back. Hmm. Other jacket's kind of heavy. I don't have the sewing needle yet, so it's still kind of a waste. I know, I'm not looting everything, I just kind of want to clear the house. I don't know why I specifically- <gasps> Needle! Yeah, anyways, don't- don't loot, don't loot, resist- resist surge, clear the house first, come on, bro. Wait, isn't there an upstairs here? I really thought there was an upstairs here. There's a garage here? No, there isn't. Okay, that's that's the whole house. Hell yeah. Alright, let's loot the shit out of this place, boys. Fucking A rights, this place looks amazing. Then that means I'm hearing one out in the bushes somewhere. This would be a pretty cool place to have a base too. But you're gonna have issues with getting in and out, because there's no second story until you can get ropes going. Yeah, I can Definitely hear one outside. Or maybe in. Maybe around. I don't know. Guess I can push M. Hmm. What can I do with... My... I'm not gonna have bleach. I don't need the temptation. Might as well. Very good. Cooking pots. Yes. Seasonings. Garbage bag. Fuck yeah. Seed bag. Can I plant sunflowers? Oh, a water dish. There's a dead animal somewhere. There's lots of dead animals. <coughs> Whenever I get the chance, I kill them too, so... Let's be honest. What is this room? Aw, oh, I was hoping there was going to be something really cool. Like a bunch of guns and crap. Lame. Red's fine, though. But yes, I can finally get into... Uh... Man. That was... Super disappointing. Belt. Yeah, whatever. Then again. Only way is point two. Belt's really handy. That's what gives me these slots. Alright, so this house is pretty good. Sewing needle is king, though. And a garage. Garage propane torch. Yes, please. Blender's a weapon. I love it. Right, I guess that's that. Wait. Yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah, that's that. This would be a cool little house to have, though, straight out the gate. Okay. Next house. I'll try the call-out technique on this next one. Get an idea of where they're all at. Only thing is, is I can just see them uh, just pouring in from the woods around me. A 
I'm being super sneaky. And if you lose them, call out and step back and just be patient. I guess so. I'm just... I can just hear them every now and then. Just a little... Uh, step. But they can't see me because I can't see them. And I actually am getting some decent points in light-footed and sneaky. Oh my... Fuck. What? What am I glad? 20 feet? Oh, okay. He's laughing. Yes, I'm scared, white lad. Don't need that. Can forge here. So once I get bushes, this... Uh, mm -hmm. Glad I chose to come out here before all these trees filled in. Come on. Don't trust anything. Hey! Thank you so much, my glad, for the 100 bits on the front row, dude. I appreciate it. We're so close to gaining a level. We're always close to gaining a level, I think. You know what? I have a saw problem. I need to stop picking up saws. I have too many. I need to stop myself, and I have enough screwdrivers. They never break. I need to leave them alone. Leave the saws alone. Okay. Glad I sorted myself out on that one. I have so many fucking saws. I think I have like four or five of each. And a part of my brain's like, ooh, I can use that. It's not like, no. No, I, I, I won't, though. Yeah, of course it's fucking... I swear, if this place had... A... Oh, ooh. I hear Dangabee. Oh, I hear multiple Dangabees. I hear one less Dangabee. Oh. Feeling pretty good about the... Oh, antibiotics. That's really good. Pretty good about those breach and clears, though. I don't know, man. I've got two right by my house, and they're just eternally alarmed. You know that. And it just... Never it just stops. It never changes. Oh, this place has a huge garage. Yeah, it's a decent weapon. It hits hard, but I'm not really training up my axes. But you never know. Video game's good. Okay, please go away so I can use my weapons. Nothing worth mentioning in here, no. Lots of stuff to take apart if I wanted to grind up my skills, though. Oh, hell yeah. Rotten food, even better. I think cold packs end up being good. <gasps> Garbage bag, cleaning stuff. Hell yeah. 38 special, I'll take that. Some chips, I can get uh, nice and porky again. Porque. The microwave. Nah. I got my ovens. I, I don't microwave things. I'm an elitist like that, apparently. It's great too, no unhappiness. Really? I hate it when he does just a really big turn. And he ends up displacing himself. Wait a minute. Can I put the melted ice cream back into a freezer? And turn it into normal ice cream again. I'm gonna give that a shot. It was in the freezer. No. Aww. The I'm gonna demelt the ice cream though. Trapping for intermediates, eh? Nope. Need hunting and fishing. Sorry. Alright, 
So, with that book, that fills me up entirely. Still really good melted. Okay, okay. Right, I'm just going to walk back now. Feeling pretty confident in how clear it is. And the thing is, they can't catch me if I'm walking at a brisk pace. You're faster than them just walking. That's all you really need. But you're going to draw more to your uh, to your location, and they can end up essentially chasing you back. Is what I've found is the wisest course of action. But since I know there aren't any super in the wide open, like if you're trying to move forward, this is a bad idea. One's going to pop out here, you're going to have to start fighting them, then other ones are going to see you because you don't know what's going on. I've already scouted both sides. Now it's become wise. That's that's my logic. That's the, the thought process. The blues fucking clues of it all. Ooh. They're new. But for the most part, it's clean. No matter what, I could essentially just sprint straight back. Actually, I could walk briskly back and get back to safety. Now I think about it. Let's check out that map again. I have an idea. The alarms are perpetually on, and it's these two houses here. Do you think it'll be heard from the fire hall? And I don't know what that is. I think it's a warehouse. But, uh... I'm thinking, if I set off this alarm, would it pull them from the firehouse? Or is that just too far out of their way? Makes me wonder. Because that might be a good strat if you ever end up finding a house. Remember it's there. And then you can use it in the future to draw his heads away from locations that you actually want to go. Yeah. Big brain planning. I thought that this was supposed to start producing worms or fertilizer or something at some point. <clears throat> One day. Okay, I got a needle. I am so excited. So does that open up tailoring? No. Okay, well, I'm just going to keep the needle on my person because it weighs almost nothing. And hopefully in the future, I will get something out of it. One day. I don't know. It's really slow going. To inspect a piece of clothing. Okay, so let's say... Oh, yeah. Duck... Dr. Roids booster, yeah, or Dr. Oids, whatever you want. Well, let's go ahead. Place this. I am now a Droids fan. Clearly. I'm going to be taking posters all over the place. I have so much ground to cover postering the shit out of everything. Okay, so let's take off my coat. Apparently I can add armor to it. Okay, inspect. Blood K. Oh, to repair. Eat K, okay, and these are jeans, so I can rip up some denim. And I just need thread. Where am I gonna find denim? No, I want to Oh I need scissors. I'm stupid. So thread is apparently extremely valuable as a commodity. It also seems to be kind of rare, because I do not have much inside the one that I do have. 
I do love my base, though. I'm just saying, all the work that I put into it, I love this place. It's it's great. I don't want to lose it. Hey, GM Tinker! Welcome to the stream. How you doing, man? Get up. Hit a lot from ripping clothes as you level one tailor. Oh. Cool. All right. That makes sense. Rip clothing. All 21. No. Baggy jeans. I don't... So are any of the jeans different from the other ones? Ten twenty. Denim jeans are ten twenty and point nine eight. Good insulation, good wind resistance. Okay. Then just normal jeans, ten twenty and ninety eight. But long denim oh long denim shorts. Wait a minute. What the fuck is the difference between long denim shorts and pants? What do I wear? Just jeans. Alright, whatever. Okay, so now I can inspect. Click here. Denim strips to the left shin. Sweet. Oh my gosh. So that's how tailoring works. Now the leather jacket. Leather jacket rules. I'm just saying. Slows me down barely. Run speed barely. Scratch defense 40. Bite defense 20. Okay, so the leather jacket is kind of king. Over, say, 2040, they're identical, I think. Yeah. Yeah, I think they are. So now we want to rip this. And rip that. Sweet. Okay, now we go into this thing and just add padding. Oh, you can use denim or leather. Leather gives more than denim. Makes sense. For scratch defense, but they both give good bite defense. So kind of just use whatever you want. Cool. I am doing the shit out of this, man. Hey, anything, any percent is good percent. Six days, 21 hours, alarm got me killed again. No, yeah, those house alarms are the worst. No, I'll just do denim. Fuck it, I don't care. Can I repair the clothes? Just patching the shit out of it. Okay, patch, 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 patch. Twenty-two. Ooh. Most likely gonna get bit on my neck. That's great. All right, and military boots. What can I do with them? Needed and thread required. Okay, what do I got on me right now? Do I got fabric or thread? No, I don't think I do. So why don't I? Yeah. So should I just run off of one set of things? That's the strange part. So denim and leather are kind of the way to go, by the looks of it. Yeah. So I can kind of just go into this one, which has all of the shirts. And just fuck them up for... Uh, denim shorts, why not? Go to town. Ooh, getting multiple threads on the go. Sweet. Okay, cool. Until you get firefighter stuff and bulletproof vests. I do have a bulletproof vest. 
somewhere. <laughs> is that, is that, yes. Yes, I do. So, there's that. And really, it's just boots and gloves, I guess. After that. Inspect the gloves. Nice. Cool. So, just slowly increasing their overall effectiveness. Like, the... How... Can't be repaired. No, my military boots. Oh my gosh. I look hilarious. I look like a fucking goon. That's great. I love it. All right. I might as well put this stuff in here. Cool. All right. Now we styling. I don't know, because it's heavy. Does it really help a whole lot? It probably does, based on your reaction. <laughs> You're like, that shit's the best! And I'm like, really? Is that good? You know what, for the sake of principle, I'm putting the melted ice cream into the freezer. Just, just because I should. Oop, and white wine. Too bad my guy's not smart enough to make a motherfucking pan sauce. With the wine, but no, he is the way he is. A fucking loser. Um, true. It gives huge protection. Into the areas that are protected, yeah. Alright, I don't know where it is, though. That's that's my last big problem there. I have no fucking idea. Sorry. I might have put it in my room? Does anybody know where I put the damn bulletproof vest? That was a long time ago when I moved to the bases and I actually had one. Oh, for fuck. Garbage bags, yeah, box of nails, yeah, cold pack, sure. My good god. I think I put it in my room. I'll double check that. Pepper, pepper, there it is. Getting bored, are you? Well, fucking read a damn book then. And I do have lots and lots of books. I guess I shouldn't be too worried about him being unhappy or bored. It's very easy for me to fix. Actually, can I fix my backpack? I wonder. No. I can't seem to repair this stuff either. Or does adding patches repair it? Like in your room. Yeah, I thought so too, Trent. Let's check. Let's check. Nope. Something in the duffel bag. But that doesn't look like a vest to me. Yeah, I swear that I had one. What the fuck? What the fudge? If I wear a scarf, it apparently gives me scratch defense, so that's how that's going down. Yeah, I don't know. I had a bulletproof vest, and it appears to uh, have been lost in the shuffle of me carrying around literally everything. I do carry around probably way the hell too much stuff, though. And that's stupid. A seed bag is stupid. I don't like it. But it is something. It carries like five. I know you can fit like a bajillion seeds in there, but maybe it'll come in handy at some point. Boom. 
yet. Box of 38 special. At the old base, but I'm pretty sure you grabbed it. Yeah, me too. It was like the most valuable, one of the most valuable things that I had in the whole world. Then I got here, started getting set up, and now it's gone forever. Come on. No. No. I bet I set it down at some point and was like, I'll remember where that is. Because it's super unique, and now I'll never find it again. Okay, only took all fucking day. But I did it. Hit two houses and reorganized and integrated it back into the house. For the swarm. Goodness, let's roll. Bicep curls, baby! This, I've been working on this for like, what? Five weeks now? And it's still not even full on regularity? This better give me some of the dankest buffs ever. Like, I better hit like a truck. Just saying. Alright, you can't repair overall condition yet, and some clothes can't can't be repaired. If not, you left it at the old okay, yeah. Alright, so fire department is like a phenomenally huge priority. I've no, always known it is, but it's always, always, always surrounded by Zeds. And they're really annoying to get the fuck to leave it alone. They're not really big into that. Right, nothing appears to be seeding. Do not tell me. Damn it! I lied. This entire... Oh, no. These ones are just blooming. I'm sorry, guys. I need the patats. The patats are very important to my survival. I think I'll take the vehicle over there. You go to the fire station. I've been there. I was there briefly. But it was getting dark, and then I was like, nope, I'm out. Alright, I'll go there tonight. That is the main feature of this stream, is hitting the fire station. I don't think... Well, the big thing is is also killing the uh, fire department zombies. They have the fire department gear, which is really what you want for some of the best armor. Okay, I'm getting dangerously overloaded. It's a lot of spuds. There we go. Just slap Molly in the backpack. Okay. More than enough. And harvest. Damn radishes. Come here, radishes. You know where you go. Into the trash. Where you belong. Wait, don't I? Didn't I just harvest radishes? Did he fail at harvesting the radishes? Is that a thing? I don't know. You're gonna get the potatoes. Yeah, I think. I think I did. That's a lie. I know I need them. Even as I say they're trash, but he's just uh, like pulling them out and throwing them over his shoulder so I can never retrieve them. Okay, slam them patats in the fridge. Yes. That was a huge harvest. All right, the next thing that I need to do is actually slap in a bunch of potatoes and tomatoes. My God. So I still got lots of food. Well, I've I still pretty much have one full day of food left. Pretty much. It's just not quite. I 
There we go. Let's go fucking plant and shit. So many batteries. Because it makes sense. Batteries are in abundance in real life, so you know there's gonna be fucking batteries places. Okay, grab our tomato seeds and potato seeds. And we say fuck the radishes. Maybe it got blight and it wasn't ready for harvest. Because that can happen. They can just get sick. Just like Harvest Moon, though. I guess you had to water every day. Like, it rained maybe one every 20 days in Harvest Moon. I remember as a kid when that came game came out and I played it way too much but that's when you could go down to rental stores and rent video games and I only ever rented it right here's supposed to be tomatoes This is a heckin' garden. I wish you could, they could add some quality of life UIs where you could say select an area. That would be pretty nifty. Cause, and then you just kind of go through and you could speed up the whole thing versus going through, clicking, going through the menu, going through, clicking, going through the menu, which is exactly what it sounds like, boring. Do not tell me, yeah, those trees are the fuck annoying. Of course they are. I think I need this up here. Those days I used to do the same blockbuster. Yeah, blockbuster stuff. Well, we had a place in the small town I live in called the Video Hut. It went out of business a couple years ago for obvious reasons. Faster. Faster, my child. Okay, those are all the trees. He is not very quick at that. Boom. Yep. 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 Ah. I remember Video Hut. It was there when I lived there in your area. Yeah, Video Hut ruled. It was great. Good prices. Good people. Always had the latest teenager work in there. A young adult that actually knew what movies were coming out and what was cool. I was just a kid when that was around, though. It's Harvest House. Oh, yeah. Harvest House is going strong. Um, yeah, and it still is amazing. They're struggling really hard now because of COVID, obviously. They're a big-time dine-in establishment. Now they're 100% dependent on deliveries in a small town. Um, that corner store that used to be Dairy Queen, if you remember that, it's gone now completely. And I'm feeling confident enough to plant another row of cabbages. I had Video Hut 2. Really? No way. I, I don't think it's actually a chain thing. I think that just people use the name. Was it a chain? Maybe it was. It wasn't a very well-known chain. Yeah, a lot would have changed since 2004 when I moved. Yeah, it's it's been a hot minute since then. For some reason, a part of my brain thinks anything in 2000 was fairly recent. And it's just not. It is not anymore. The year 2000 was 21 years ago. Okay, good, good. Farming fucking done for the day, okay? That's it. Dump off the axe. 
How are my bottles of water doing? We're good. Drop off scrap electronics and then I'm going to try to make my way down there and just kind of scope out the area again. I need to make a more dedicated push to get in there. There's too much stuff that is worth a lot to me in there. In the meantime, I can sit here and try to remember where the hell I put my bulletproof damn vest. Yeah, because if I'm going to go down there, I want to go down there with force. Be able to bring back this entire thing completely jammed to the brim. Oh, rain. It might actually help me a little bit. It might muffle the sound of the van. Yeah, if I can get in there, I'm going to pick it clean. Or at least that's what I want to do. And that's how my garage door works. <whistles> Lady sees the van, just starts freaking the fuck out. Like, lady, the last thing you have to worry about is this van kidnapping you. Although you should worry about that. Can I eat while driving? Yeah. <laughs> I love it. Oh, there's these houses. And there's so many zombies around them. What's my ice cream, little zombie? There's lots of houses down around here. Lots of zombies. Oh, there's like a big warehouse or something there. That's cool. Yeah, this is a fire department, isn't it? Yeah, here's my company. It's a welcoming party. Alright, sir. Sir. Sirs. I'm gonna have to get under the van. Why aren't you guys dying when I run you over? Oh my gosh, they just keep coming. Come on, guys. Can't be good for the car. You just slowly bump them up. And drive over them. Guys need to get under the tire part. This makes me really nervous. Come on. 
Just have the courtesy of getting crushed. Common courtesy, please. I see you. There. Alright. That was a lot of dirty work. What do you guys got? <sighs> Shit, that, that always makes me nervous, especially when I slowed down there for just a second. So I cleared a little bit of a landing strip. Somewhere for me to just kind of call home. Place bulletproof vest. I'll take that. And wear it, apparently. So that's what I'm doing. There we go. I found one. Found another one. Yeah! <laughs> you guys ask and I will produce. Fucking finding that shit. Yeah. Lots of digital watches just for taking apart. No, no, don't put it on the damn zombie. Not that I was at this. Really paying attention here. Going back over them. All your trunk doesn't have any vitals in it, so you won't earn your engine. True. I was just afraid of it stopping on them. I'm sorry. I got nervous. Okay. And I think I got all the ones that were around here. I just know there's a lot more up in this field. Okay, never mind. Hello, sir? Sir? Eat shit, sir! Oh shit. Fucking walked through him. I was standing on his chest, but the game's like, nah, now you're not. Yeah, okay, good. Valuable, valuable components for the generator. Hello. Yeah, there it is. Come here, bitch. That's for you. And that's for you. Okay, firefighter pants and stuff. That's good. Military boots as well. Oh shit, yeah, that's why we do the look around thing. Firefighter pants out the wazoo, yes. Fire hall is a good place to be, apparently. Okay. Yeah, we're good. We're good. Just just being paranoid here. Paranoia saves lives in this game. Okay, let's go back. Yes! Okay, that was huge already. I'll inspect what their armor values and stuff are later. Oh my gosh, 20 and 30. What are my current pants, anyways? 10 and 20. Bike defense 50 and 70? Versus the leather jackets 20 and 40. Oh my gosh. Never mind. Quick little whip around. <clears throat> I kind of cleared that area. I'm more worried about over here. Okay.
No, that is not the back of the truck. There we go. Oh, really? Sweet. All right, so I'm as good, well off as I can get. The next thing is to get really good at tailoring, I guess. Tailoring and leather strip everything. Because I think I'll be able to get a little bit closer now. Big diesel howls, though. It gets really stuck on muddy ground. Well, shit. Wow, they are coming from miles around. I just had to fucking get in here, didn't I? Yeah, that didn't fucking work. Really annoying. This thing's a problem. My little car did not pull them from near as far away. Where does this go? Oh yeah. Got hit two months, I know. What am I at right now? Two months, I already hit two Yay. months. Yes, I did it. I wasn't even paying attention. We hit it yesterday. Shit. Yay. Speed kills here, guys. All right, I guess whenever I come to this part of town, I just get really hungry. Yay. Yeet straight into the two months, baby. Hey, you guys came out. I'm hoping the rest of them kind of followed further up that way. Nope, I lost them right there. Oh my god. This thing just fucking roars around, doesn't it? <sighs> Didn't think the muffler was fucked on this thing. Well, we got friends. Thank you, Trent, for the bubble fish. Just speculating, yeah, it's kind of strange. They start coming from quite a ways away. Yeah, you're going under, I'm sorry. There's not much I could do about that. By the old base, say hi, everybody. Okay, we're gonna try another round. Okay, this, it still racks my nerves really bad because I do not want to die. I've got them in position, though, that I should be able to get there. And well, I don't want to waste the day because... Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Sorry. Oh, my God. You're dead. Er. Yeah, get out of the damn way, please. Enough. 
And juke. Okay, didn't quite juke. That was more of a fucking smash into oblivion. Okay, you, sir. I hate. Ugh. No matter what I do, there's just lots of them on the damn road. Uh, hey, hey, Nitro, welcome to the stream. I'm really trying to clear zombies out away from the frickin' fire department, but they are more than happy to stay there for a long time. This truck is not doing me any favors in that department. Been alive for two months and a day. Ah. Hey, a police car. These guys are making it extremely difficult to do what I need to do. Now you guys don't give a shit. Wow, not today. Okay, buddy in the green jumpsuit, you get you get fucked on. Sorry about that, that just had to happen. Don't get in front. Oh, just gonna just gonna just, hey, you don't mind me, just coming right, just passing through. Yeah. Hi, bye. Oh my god, they're all out now. I think. Ooh. Okay, trying not to oversteer, almost understood. Yeah, whatever. I was gonna back onto him, then I see more of them I'm going home. Fuck that. I'm going home. Hey, just will do. I just made one big pass around. I survived 21 months. Uh, 21 months. Two months. And one day. Big difference there. Just tried to really get into the fire department. Honest. Place down some desks to secure this. Okay, it looks good. As long as the zombies can't get initial pass. Sorry, I'm I'm really focused at this point. I see there's a couple more people in chat, but but I gotta make sure I don't die. <laughs> Priorities. Ugh. Hey, Risk Abyss, what's going on, man? Uh, not a whole lot, just, uh, well, actually a lot. A lot, a lot. Trying to secure a bunch of fire department clothing that I just got. After doing a quick run out to the fire department and finding out every zombie and their zombie dog. Ah, oh, no, I didn't fucking finish it. It's hanging out over there. And, man, that's nerve-wracking. Okay. It is secured. So now the zombies won't be able to get their initial path. Oh, yeah, I know it's 10. I had to I had to go back. Oh, yeah, well, it's 10 o'clock in real life, and, well, it's only 5 in the game. But, uh, yeah, it's Friday. It's Friday. I'm going to stream longer. So, anyways, what's going on? Huh? My God. This will be your muffler. KKK, okay, okay, okay. the Nitro DD. What's the main objective in this game? This is a survival horror simulation game. The goal is to live as long as you possibly can. Just will do. <laughs> Just well to always just keep saying that. Oh, it said that. Um. Fuck my, I'm changing my name. What's going on? What? But yeah. Whew. Risky business. No. I don't feel like making a funnier face than the one I already got. Because I already got a funny face. We, no. No one told me. Well, tr well, this is the day that you think to tell me, my client. That's... The day that I can stay up. So I got the police vest on, I got the bike helmet on, fire department clothing. I got some huge bite resistance at this point in time. Maybe I should actually clean it. And did I? Yeah. Some, some good shit. I'll put this stuff in my room and dismantle that guy. So everything that I, you get in th throughout the game. So the zombie apocalypse begins. It's still uh, power and water. 
and you can run between the houses, fridges are on, and you just gotta loot, find guns and weapons and whatever you want to survive. Then from there, you have to go through and kind of build up to withstand the test of time. You build skills and level up to be able to craft and maintain different things and systems, except for it is a hell of a challenging game, and it's hardcore, so when you die, that's it. I could technically come back to the same server and find my old base, but I'd have none of my own skills. So, in my opinion, it kind of defeats the purpose. Let one character's story be theirs. Unless it happened really quick. Like, I did die on day 8, and I was like, I don't have jack shit. I had, like, just the starting crap, so I was like, you know what, I'm gonna go back and grab it. So I have done it. Still worth it to do. If you wanted to work on, like, a big project or something, then, yeah, go for it. Keep coming back to the same server and just keep building it up. But I think that would remove a little bit of the mystique from it. But you get more progress, so it makes sense. And I can carry a little bit less, but my survivability just went through the roof. Compared to how it was, it's not like fucking amazing now, but it's a lot better. Yeah, military boots, mine are pretty fucked up, aren't they? Ah, uh, they're still... They're, uh, hey, yeah, that's livable. I'll keep using them. Are you a fur... Am I a furry? No. God, no, I'm not a furry. Nothing against furries, but I am the farthest thing from a furry. I do not see the appeal in it at all. But hey, people do whatever they want, man. Go for it. Okay. No, wrong place. There we go. Why do you ask if I'm a furry? That is strange. Online players that you PvP against? Not yet, Nitro DBD. That's okay. I'm just making a compilation of people making funny faces. Oh, fair enough. For a YouTube video or personal gain? It's a little bit strange for personal gain. I just want to sit down and watch. A lot of weird looking faces. Like, all right, whatever uh, slaps your sardine there, man. Okay, I can put the scrap electronics away. I would still call that a resounding success. It was scary as shit, but for me, it was scary. You guys are like, fucking hit the zombies, and I'm like, yeah, I don't want to die. Like a bitch. But I don't want to die. You gotta admit, that is. The realest thing. All right. Random game. I'll cook up food and I'll take another try at... I'll try the warehouse first. I seem to be capable of getting to it. You know what? Maybe I'll take the cab. Because I seem like I would be a furry. What do I do that makes me seem like... A furry? What? What? I'm interested to know. Like, that's all right. The furries are a tight-knit community. I think they'd be offended if I were to call myself amongst their elite ranks. A couple of cabbages. Yeah, potatoes are just the bee's knees in this shit. And I'm thinking a tomato. Fucking perfect. Alright, food set. If I take the taxi, I'm assuming the taxi is going to be a lot quieter. Like you'd be an animal. Um, not anymore, just will do. It might have at one point been an animal's environment, but currently it is just an environment of death. The way that I like it. So I'm hardcore like that. You picked up another fucking extra bird, didn't you? You hate that? It's like, hey, cook a bird. He's like, one for the pot, one for the pocket. It's like, no, don't put a raw bird in your pocket. And he's like, no. One for, one for the pocket. It's like, no, you fucking psychopath. And put the cabbages away. Fucking guy. I think I look... Oh, no. No, my clothes. Oh, is that leg torn? Yeah, it is. 
that's where I'm going to get bit. Right on the freaking thigh. Right fucking there. Alright, for the last little bit, I can actually go through. I think I'm buying my denim straps and everything. And patch the shit out of this stuff. Then we're going to be fucking laughing. Yeah. Hole. Well. Fabric needle thread acquired. What did you burn? I'm right beside it. Thread. Needle. Denim, right? Or... Yeah, denim. We'll just do denim strips. Okay. Can't... Oh, no. That stuff can't be repaired. But it should be able to be modified, can't it? No. Okay, so you can't modify that stuff. You probably can't modify the police bulletproof. Okay, so you can't repair or modify them. Oh, at least I can't yet. That's disappointing. Stuck in the second best armor in the game. And I got a scarf for my little necky neck. We check protection. Upper torso. Wow. Head is 100%. Left foot, right foot, 100% from bites. My neck and groin and right thigh are super exposed. I gotta change these pants, man. 50% on the forearms. So my legs really... They're not looking that great. Yeah, these ones I think are better quality overall. Yeah, but they both the other ones were. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. No bite protection on the neck. The scarf... The scarf doesn't give a little bit. I have extreme bad luck at on Rip World, or I just suck, just will do. I'm not wearing protection. Well, protections for no, protections for people who want to save money in the future, but because <laughs> you'll be alive. That's what we're talking about, right? Um, yeah, I actually just did a campaign on Rim World. It was freaking awesome. I had Rim Connect going, and we actually got off the planet for the first time, which was fantastic the madness that comes from rim connect i would like to do another full rim connect campaign yeah buddy work out get that wicked long hair actually no, i think i'm gonna go cut his hair um for the sake of actually no nah, i'm not gonna cut his hair he looks pretty cool Doing that sweet workout routine, getting them gains. It's pretty bored, so I'll read a book. Not until I get tampering for beginners. Until you get... What the hell? Oh, the game just froze for a second. It's like... <gasps> okay. Tampering for beginners. Um, you mean... Shit. What is it called? Not textiles. Shit. Yeah, is it textiles? Tailoring. Tailoring. Trailering! Mixing it up. Hey, eyes, yuck, wiener. What's up? <laughs> That's a great name. Because <laughs> it makes you say, I suck, wiener. I love it. That's good. That's good. I'll say those names anyways. I really don't care. Like, what are some of the other ones? You guys know them. Well, some of you do. Oh, yeah, that's funny. Gives a shit. I'm, I'm sitting here. Yes, I Swallow Come is a good one. Oh, that one huge live stream where they were, like, endorsed by Twitch and all that. And uh, they're reading it out loud. And buddy, it's like, all right, I Swallow Come. Yes, I Swallow. And he said it so many times. So many times that uh, it was just hilarious before it finally kicked in because his co-host was just sitting there jabbing him. And he took it very personally. Which, eh. It's a little bit overplayed, but every now and then I think it's funny. Yeah, I need to cook. <laughs> I know. But it needs to happen. And then I take the cab, so I'll grab a gas can... Grab the taxi cab that's across the street. And I'm going to try to hit that warehouse. Because that warehouse looks really fucking cool. Okay, can you drop down? Thank you. I want to know what's in it. Even though it's probably underwhelming. 
Or at least I pray it's not. Oh my gosh. Oh yeah, that one's 120. Cabbage. Oh, that's cool. Have you met Nick? His last name is Gur. No. That one's... Ew, that one's a little edgy. Don't appreciate that one as much. Because that'll get you banned, right? There's there's a difference between saying I, I suck wiener or um, I swallow cum or one of those jokes, except for... Saying hate slurs, on the other hand, people don't take too kindly. So that one's a little bit more of a malicious joke, so... That is a bad one, yeah. Yeah, I lick my balls. That one's a good one. Remember the first time I heard that? It's so easy to fall for. Because you it doesn't mean anything. It sounds like it could mean something. Okay. I'm gonna try to drop off the scrap of electronics in time. Hey, thank you so much, Nitro DVD, for the follow! And I see... <laughs> You also give a follow, eyes. I appreciate it. I'm just going to call you eyes now. How does, how does that sound? That works for me. You guys follow at the same time. I appreciate it. Newfoundland are saying, well, oh, it'll be... Oh, yeah. Well, I'll be fucked. Thing is, I already fucking swear a lot, so... I could just slip it in there, you know? My friend Candace died. But yeah. All right. got into this game well i've played in real time about 60 hours um in the game my character's alive for two months and two days um all of it has not been spent on this character although the majority of it has been and oh that was perfect back pretty much just in time all right and i should have grabbed a damn jerry can i why why do i gotta be stupid why i gotta be smooth brained huh Okay, taxi cab time. We're hitting up that warehouse. The rain is going to help a lot. Um, I enjoy so many different games. Um, Escape from Tarkov, played through Subnautica, did Rimworld, obviously. Done Factario, Factario is awesome. Obviously Project Zomboid. I personally love Starcraft 2, Call of Duty Warzone. Hey, Ripok, thank you so much for the raid with seven people. Welcome to the stream, guys. How are you doing today? You guys joined just in time for me to go and try to hit a warehouse in a cab that I'm going to pick up and hopefully not get horribly murdered by zombies. I've only been alive for a little bit. Hey there, toughen my butt. <laughs> it's just, there's a lot of people with good names on today. Hey, what's up, guys? How was the stream? Uh, what game were you playing there, Ripok? Does it tell me? All right, let's not get bent. This is a survival zombie apocalypse horror simulation game. Which just drops in the zombie apocalypse. Your goal is to survive as long as possible. Everything you get is hard earned. One bite and you're dead. You can build up some false hope thinking you might survive. But the reality is you won't. You get sick and your guy slowly gets woozier. And then one day just turns. So you have to do it all essentially flawlessly. And I've been up for two months. I found a school and I have it like border, um, barricaded all up and crap with different cars. And on the inside, I got dressers and furniture in the way. It's just been fantastic, including the guy behind me. <clears throat> I know what's behind me. Nothing but a nice, calm, relaxing forest fire. Just the way I like it. Okay, so... Not seeing or hearing. The big thing is hearing in this game. I can hear zombies around. And you can speed up time, but if they sneak up behind you, since you can only see what's in front of you, it always are nice. And Sunday, but most others have an awesome night. All right, you have yourself a good one, Ripok. Really appreciate you reading the stream. All right, did I empty all of it? Empty, yes. Okay. Then I can actually just drop it off into the seat. The big problem with this one was... 
it had no freaking gas. Okay. Get to the warehouse. Now this is a lot quieter than that big diesel. So I'm hoping I don't pull every Z within three square miles of it. This is the long way, but whatever. But this is also the dumb way. I can escape from Tarkov. <laughs> escape from Turkey. Um, yes. I've played lots and lots of Escape from Tarkov. I always end up profiting and doing decently, but I'm definitely not, like, one of the pro streamers at all. I'm not that good. I know that tactics, a good idea of the locations and... Ooh, shit. Missions. But I can always do successful. You know what? Why? Well... Why are there so many of you guys over here? That might have been from my truck antics the other day. Wait a minute. Wait a, wait a tick. Ooh, ooh, okay. Still alive. I have an idea. Given their current position, this is genius. This is genius. Because I wanted to clear them all out. I know how to get them to leave there. Now the exercise fatigue kicks in. Are you fucking kidding me? Okay, we'll leave the car running. What's this little piece of shit house? Always has an alarm go off. Except this time. Are you kidding me? I had a big plan and everything. I was like, oh man, I'm just going to get in there. I'll get the alarm to go off. They'll all run back to check out this house. And it's gone off. Damn it. Well, now I look like an idiot in front of all my friends. Jeez. Okay, well, let's try the other house. It's had an alarm go off more than once. Okay. Sorry, I can't read chat too terribly much when I'm out and about. And the guy behind you <laughs> touch my thigh. Uh, touch my, well, touch my tie more so. Um, that's shenanigans. But, you know, I'm glad you guys are speaking in your favorite dialect. Nonsense. I appreciate that. Bring in some culture to this place. I just don't see any. And there's nothing in here. So apparently... I can't set the alarms off multiple times. That is so horrifically disappointing. Maybe I should just do a slow pass. I have enough fuel for it. Let's just do a nice slow pass. I want to get as many of them together as I can. And just try to coax them off somewhere else. I guess you end up needing to do that so many times that it's not worth it. Because they only move like what? 20, 30 meters at a time. Don't get in front of the car. Okay, these are the ones that are most intrusive. Let's go. Come on, everybody. Beep, beep, honk, honk. Oh. That got their attention. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, okay. Okay. That doesn't give me a sinking feeling in my fucking stomach. No. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. Okay. Let's just... Yeah, everybody... 
Everybody just let's just keep on. Oh, <gasps> don't freeze now. Do not freeze now. Okay. This is good. This is good. This is what we wanted. Yeah, guys, here it is. I don't know, Nitro. The best gun in this game is actually probably car. This is brutal. Just deep breaths. Okay. Come on, guys. Everybody, let's go to the courthouse. You know what? Let's not get too carried away with that. Keep it coming, guys. That's right. That's right. What is this? Okay. I think we got some good movement out of them there. From how far away are they fucking coming? Okay, this main strip is going to be my friend. Okay, I think while we cruise, we should just have a bite to eat. I'm just driving along, you know, just like 100 Zed's chasing. You make one misclick. Hit. And if you barrel into too many, the car will stop. You hit like those trees, the car will stop, and then I'm, they'll get me for sure. There's no question. You go too fast, you crash, you die. This is not safe what I'm doing right now. Okay. Going back in. Going back in. It's only noon. I want to see what's in that damn warehouse. They can't stop me forever. I want a sledgehammer. Even though I don't even really have a plan of what I want to do with it. It's just everyone says get a sledgehammer. You can destroy walls. And I was like, that's fucking cool. I want that. I want that bad. I'm a collector, you could say. A collector who risks his life because he has really nothing better to do. So quiet. There's a warehouse. There's a warehouse right there. There it is. Okay. Okay, okay. This is it. This is it. Yes, did that work? I just don't want to come up here and just see like another giant horde of like a thousand. Of them. We got two. That's exactly what I was talking about. Okay, I guess that's not really a thousand, but that's like more than I like. Okay, four. I'll leave the car running. Eat shit. Stay away from those trees. Come on, let's fucking dance. Shit. Not more than one of you. One at a time. Okay, shoot. He's down, he's down. Behind. Come on. Do I stand on her chest? Oh shit. You... Bitch, stay down! Woo! Okay, okay, more coming. I don't want this car stopping either. I did hit some stuff. Hey, you got some shit on your shirt. Let me get that for you. Oh, there's more. Oh my god. Ah, oh, it's not working. Please. Uh... Couldn't get it. Couldn't get it off. Why? Oh my god, her face is like gone. Got some watches and crap. Welcome back, Risk Riskabus. Okay. We're just gonna, just gonna run over a couple of them. Oh. Let's dance! I see you. What matters is seeing them. If they can get up behind you... Motherfucking GG. Okay, so an option that I have... 
is to just kind of pull up and kind of get them away from the gate here. In little pockets. That would not be by using the horn. I might regret that. But I need to save the fuel. Okay. Sniper mod? I'm sorry, tough tough man, but one day maybe, except for I only give mod privileges to people that I trust to kind of embody the nature of the channel. I do have lots of mods, but they get it over time just by me knowing them for a long time. Okay, I just want a couple. One or two. Okay, not not the whole fucking parade. Why? Come on. I need you guys to stop being douches. Split up a bit. And this is how they kind of hack around and result in you having issues. It's like I want to pull one or two away. If I can pull a couple at a time, I can whittle them all down. Quick decay over time. It does, doesn't it, Trent? It makes me almost think, like... Okay. Don't freeze. Good, good, good. Yeah, there's lots of there. My god, come on. I'm the one with Vada on here all the time. Pretty much, yeah, Trent. Come on, guys. Come on. We're going with the other strategy. The old get in the cab and drive around like an asshole technique. Mike Ox Short. What? Oh, ha, 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 ha. <laughs> I see you. That's another good one. Oh. This intersection. Might be good. Okay, let's do this. Yes! Beating them down! Get some, boys! Alright, alright. Yes, I can jump the fence, Trent, but I also don't know what's on the other side of the fence. I jump over into a pocket of like 20 of them. That's that. Oh shit, that got more. I see him out in the woods there. Okay, there we go. Oh, okay. Okay, let's go around again. Yeah, I could just go in and out of that fence. That is very true. But, again, I don't know what's on the other side, and I'm always going to struggle. It's going to be difficult for me to be getting back and forth with lots of stuff. I want to have really efficient runs back and forth so that I can make use of the time. But I'm, I might end up accidentally doing the opposite and giving myself absolutely no time by taking too damn long. But even by doing this, this is work that is going to help tomorrow. I oh, went too far. Hi, guys. Hi, guys. Let's 
that's enough of you. I'm just gonna end up blowing through all of my fuel. You might have a point, Trent. Quick look around. Okay. My guy, do you know? I know what that one is. My balls hurt. My ball. That just sounds unfortunate. Like nobody, nobody likes it when their balls get hurt. You know what? That's enough. Let's see what's on the other side of this damn fence. I don't have enough time for this. I swear, if I jump over and it's nothing but a wall of Zeds. Oh. Trailer park courts. That is the worst thing. Nope. I don't want nothing to do with the trailer park. I don't want nothing to do with that. I thought it was going to end up being like a warehouse or something. Trailer parks are a cesspool. All of the houses are just windows all the way around. You go in one and there's only one way out. They don't have back doors. So you go into a trailer park house. They can all see you. They all start pouring in. And you have no back way out. Oof. <laughs> That's actually a myth, by the way, Riscopus. It's not actually a thing. Oh, there was lots of them over there. And there's still lots of them here. Of course there is. So many of them. Do it again. This is my opening. Oh my god, there's even- I can't- Don't freeze now! No! 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 No, 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 no! No! Just back up! Just back up! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! That thing I was afraid of! That thing! That thing! Whew. Okay! Okay! It's okay! It's okay! This is- this is what should- this is- this is exactly what I planned on happening. Okay, let's go forward. Let's just go forward. Oh my god. Right through here. Right through. Let's keep going, buddy. Keep going. There is no day like the present to go straight motherfucking forward. Oh my god. Terrified. Why would you be terrified? There's nothing to be panicked about. Holy fucking shit. I lost a tire out of that. You guys get the fuck out of my way. Oh my god. Oh my god. Fire department. Fire department bad. Fire department so bad. Oh. I don't like the fire department anymore. I don't like the idea of it. I don't... Get out of my way, bitch. Woo! That... was truly fucking horrifying. I have... never been so fucking... <laughs> to death that no more of that let's not do that ever again holy I fucking thought that was it for sure guys <sighs> hope somebody clipped that that was fucking 
Scary shit, man. A shit out of your brother. Scared the shit out of me, man. That that cab owes nobody anything. It is it just saved my life. And this game freezing all the time. That was absolutely fucking insane. Your brother's crying. But yeah, that's yeah, I'm almost crying. That was terrifying. Yeah, I thought that was it. Like what well, was that was the end of it. Oh. Well, I'm gonna go get a bottle of Coke. Maybe some diabetes will calm me down. That that actually authentically just got me actually worked up. That was amazing. Ooh. This diarrhea. Ooh. That was epic. Alright, I'm gonna go grab a bottle of cola. And I will be right back, guys. <laughs> Not even close, baby. Not even close. Clip 120. Thank you, Trent. I appreciate it. Appreciate that. Why am I so dirty? Well, I'm just trying to hold the shit in, tough mother. <laughs> what do you What do you think's happening? But yeah, I'm gonna go grab a call. Be right back. Like one minute. That was fucking crazy. All right. I think the only reason I'm still alive in this game right now, and I'm back, by the way, obviously. You can you can see I'm here. Only reason I'm still alive in this game is because I chose to back up exactly when I did. If I would have waited an extra second... You know what? I should probably pause the game when I do that. Because I didn't have the power to push through the mud fast enough, but I can get a lot better traction on concrete. So I noticed there's a little pocket behind where I was and that I just wasn't moving forward more into the dirt. So I was like, my only hope is to get my tires back on concrete. And fortunately that worked out. That was the, oof. Yeah, that was fucking awesome. That That's one of the most exciting game moments I think I've had in a lot, like a year or two. Pretty much Nitro. That was fucking awesome. And we all got to share. Hooray for the taxi Capri class. I got to repair that thing. That I owe that thing my life. That thing did good work. Okay. I'm tempted to park it in the garage, to be honest. But I'll just park it in one of the stalls for now. Yeah, it just... That's it. The front windshield's fucking gone. They were just about to start coming through. This, this taxi, fucking, it's the real hero. It deserves a parking spot. Okay. Just flatten down on one side. 
Hooray for the Taxi Capri Classic. Indeed. Oh my god, that's just... Alright, so I think there's only one way that I can hit the fire department. Okay, I, I know. As soon as I stepped away, I was like, Then how do I get there? Clearly not through just straight willpower. Straight willpower will get me killed. It just will. So how do I do it? I think I need to jump the fence in the back. In a plinth they did with the Toyota pickup on top here. Oh. Hey there, you little cocksucker. I'm tempted to go get my gun and just start shooting him, but I'm not going to. Okay, came to drop this off. Lost, a, like, a whole fuel can for that. How did this trap get destroyed? Oh, it must have caught a bird and the bird escaped. How did I get way, back way more twine than I ever put into it? That's really strange. If there were zombies, they crowd around the generator. So... We know there's not zombies. Yeah, I think I'm gonna wall this now. Um, just to help give a sound barrier. And let my fucking nerves calm down. I spent like the first two hours of the stream fucking organizing and setting up and being like, Man, life is good. I'm just gonna chill out. And then suddenly all hell breaks loose in the most horrifying event of my career in this game. And maybe I didn't have as many saws as I thought I did, but I still got lots of saws. Okay. Damn. Who wants to do that again? That was exciting. Eh? Who's in? GM Tinker, you want to jump in the car? I know Risk Abyss does. Risk Abyss, everyone's like, fuck no, man. That was a really stupid situation you got yourself into. One pass, obviously I could make it. But once I had them all in such a condensed area from the horn, the second pass, there's, that's just a suicide run. And I did it anyways. I even knew it when I was heading there. I was like, ah, oh, they're probably a little dispersed. I hit that horn and immediately regretted my decision. Motherfucking immediately regretted my decision. Okay, so we got some stuff. That was awesome. Um, but I can build this up to close it off. Thousand Zeds in that area now. Exactly. Can't you craft Molotov cocktails in the game? Yeah, that would be freaking awesome, GM Tinker, but not right now. I don't have the uh, mod that would allow me to. I don't think. Or can I? Because that was such... Oh, you don't want to light them on fire, though, GM. Um, Everett? No, lighting them on fire is bad news, bears. Um, once they're on fire, they stay up for a shockingly long time, and they'll run around and light everything else on fire, and I need that loot, right? Bourbon does, my glad. Oh, and I think I know where some bourbon is in the bar across town by the uh, wealthy area. Hmm. But yeah, fire is a, a much bigger problem for me than it is for them. Yeah, I can't believe I got out of that with like no damage to myself. That taxi just paid the price for my stupidity. <laughs> I guess I did lose an entire tank of gas, which is days worth of been able to just live life like a little farmer guy, but I don't want to just sit around. For want to get the stuff I want. Non-incendiary IEDs. I have aerosol cans that I'm hoping I can use, but it's good to see that that horn pulls them from it everywhere. It, that's insane. Just got to find a creative way to use that. What am I doing in here? came in here to get nails. My I, brain is always just running through ways that I could possibly do it. Who say you're pro at this game? Nitro! God, I, no! I just got it, man! Hey, thank you so much! Mike Lad for 100 bits on the front row! I appreciate it, dude. I appreciate it. Worth the stress? Absolutely. Thank you. That eases the stress a lot. Oof. 
But definitely the most entertaining I think that game's been so far. It's been a lot of fucking around. To finally get a moment that was just straight pulse pounding terror. After all this work to die because I'm just like driving over corpses as they're smashing through the windshields. That is, that was like perfect timing and sequencing for a horror movie. I love it. Alright, so it begins. I don't have a hammer. Stop immediately. I'm back, sorry, to go... I had to go mow the lawn. It's been a very small lawn. Grab the fucking hammer. There we go. Did uh, I miss the entire taxi cab event? Don't worry, because Trent clipped that. Yeah. Thank you, Trent. Again. The taxi cab event. You would know. Wait, I can't put a wall frame here? Why not? Can't put down a pillar. Can you not build on roofs? What the shit? Or does it need to be wooden floored? No, I saw that. Okay, good, good. Yeah, what's the deal with this? Yeah, I got everything that I need. That's really annoying. Does it need to be on a wooden floor tile, I wonder? That would also be very annoying. Oh, okay. Do you recommend? Absolutely, Nature DVD. Um, I don't even think it's that expensive. I think it's like 20 bucks. Got some extra flanks. Because it's like an old game, right? You can also set it up to just see if it goes on sale. And the devs are working on getting multiplayer where people can have persisting uh, servers. So all of you can get all together. It's 17 on stream. I might get it. Absolutely. Yeah, on Steam, that's it. Yeah, it's a good price. Um, it's accessible. It's fun. It's crazy. It gives a lot for discovering. And then it's modded like crazy, which is another thing I'm, I really want to get into. My friends don't like it because of the graphics. Well, the thing is, a game is not defined by its graphics. It is limited by its graphics in a lot of cases, but it's not defined by them, in my opinion. Because this premise, if they were to try to make this super, super high fidelity or high quality, what advantage would we really get? Most, not a whole lot. You're not really intimate with the action that's going on. I don't see it servicing the game any better. So I think they did just a phenomenal job on what they have here. Uh, but to me, graphics don't... Well, exactly. It just needs to be good. Okay, so... That's weird. I can build it over here. Can't build. Oh yeah, because it's by the planks. I'm not always into super good graphics. Yeah, I think the graphics are... They meet what it's supposed to be perfectly. You know? In my opinion. At any rate. Oh, it's doing that freezy thing again. It's a cool vibe. Absolutely. It all services the feel. Okay, let's get out of here. And I should get to use my light. Why, why aren't you on? Yeah, why isn't the light on? Do the light bulbs burn out eventually? I 
and two grand on today's GP. You might want to see your reflection in gutter water. Worked for Cyberjunk. Um, Cyberpunk, I think, it, it just got such an unfortunate turn of events for that game. Everybody pushing for it to come out, and then it, it just ended up getting rushed. They weren't done. They just were not done. There we go. Hmm. Kind of weird. How long have you been playing this game? I've been playing it for, what, two, one and a half, two weeks now? And this is the pinnacle of my achievement. Uh, make sure that you play on the beta, uh, which you can go through Steam. So right-click on it when it's in your library. Here's Zombie. I think it was that one that was wandering around. Last thing I want to do is hear a fucking zombie here. Hence they released junk. They they really did. It just was not ready. It was just broken. And it really should have been a PC exclusive. If they wanted to meet that deadline, they would have had to make it PC exclusive. But somebody made promises that the team just couldn't back, and that's just that's really shitty for them. That's it. Always turn off your light. They'll be more attracted to the generator than you sleeping. But the graphics rocked. Graphics were amazing, Mike Lad. You got that. You know? And I did spend a lot of money on a good GPU and everything. And I'm still playing this, but I got it so I could live stream uploading and downloading. I actually got to... to just get an idea of how much data and how much cross... What, what a computer needs to do for live streaming. I hit over 750 gigabytes of my one terabyte a month. I don't download movies. I don't really watch Netflix. I watch about an hour of YouTube a day. And that's it. Aside from uploading at my schedule. I've hit over 900 when I was streaming a lot more often. I'm so sick of hearing zombies. All right. I believe the compound is still secure, is it not? No reason for it not to be. See, that broken trap and light bulb at the same time just freaked me out. My favorite game of all time. That's a big question. Oh, let's go through, grab the axe. Hmm. I have to think on that one. Hmm. At some point, what's my shop? The thing is, I'm really torn to say, like, the game that meant the most to me is probably going to be Killer Instinct. When I was a kid, that was the game that I first ever really got into, and that was for Super Nintendo. And I wanted to play that more than anything. And I played that game until literally I had blisters and they would pop, and then I would put a band-aid over top of it because it would bleed and hurt just so that I could play more because I wanted to be able to beat my older siblings. And I played and played and played until eventually they didn't think it was fun anymore because of how hard I kicked their ass and they didn't want to play anymore. And that's when I stopped practicing. But for favorite game, no, I, I've never been a big fan of third-person shooters. Like, I liked PUBG, and then it was stuck in third person. I was like, this is entirely pointless. It's like, I do not want to play a third person shooter. Um, no, I can't. Uh, I'm not going to right now, Nitro, because uh, the coil's a little bit burnt, so it actually burns the shit out of my throat right now. I needed to replace it, but I had to choose between starting the stream on time. And, um, uh, unfortunately, replacing my coil. I made my choice. So if I take a big one, I'm going to end up hurting shit. Alright. 
Chad, did you guys join during the Ripok raid? Because you two essentially came into the room at a very similar time. I play the game, not the graphics. Ah. Graphics are great if the game is good. It's true. Sorry. At some point, once my shop is finished someday in the long future, I want to try to live stream from it. That'd be cool. Especially considering what you do. Do you want to be doing, like, um, fabrication and manufacturing in your live stream? That would be something else. Just found your stream. Awesome. Cool. Welcome, guys. Happy you guys showed up. I like people who... You know what? I like people who like to lurk and people who like to talk. It's just people who like to talk are a lot rarer. And it makes for a good combination to have some of both. The peeps who are just kind of chilling out, want something in the background, it's great. And then one or two or three or four that want to jump into chat and interact. Sprinkle some diversity. Hey, Risk of Biz, thank you so much for the follow, dude. I really appreciate it. Getting this game, so I told my friend to come watch. Cool. Well, I hope I'm doing it justice for you guys. It is, it does have tedious parts. Now you gotta remember you can go through and change all of the different settings that you play with. Um, straight up to the point of where and how zombies spawn. Not a snowflake. <laughs> so many people are snowflakes. Now, if anything, I try to tone it down and be friendlier. I'm a tradesman in bumfuck all nowhere, Alberta, Canada. The last thing, well, I should probably try to care more, but I just don't give a shit. There's an offensive thing out there. I've either said it or had it said to me. Jokingly and sometimes not. Yep, you bet I am. I am from Alberta. What the fuck? So is Everett, actually. Or GM Tinker. We are too? Oh, really? No way, really? I'm from Alberta too, Risk Abyss. Now I'm starting to feel some facetiousness going on here, everyone. I'm from Alberta, too. There's only two like two million people in Alberta. Well, I guess I think it's closer to three now, but let me guess. You live near Edmonton. I don't live near Edmonton. Fuck no. The shit starts at the hat of Red Deer, and then the fucking shit pot is up north. <laughs> I'm kidding. I got nothing against either of the cities, but... I live closer to Calgary, so we make fun of you guys, and you guys make fun of us, and it makes our lives better. Grand Prairie? Woo! Way up there. You just... You've got up into the super, super land of cold, though. Why Canadians get the nickname for being... Are known for being tough? It's because of people who live in, like, Grand Prairie and Fox Creek. Red Earth. Red Earth is kind of shitty, too. Not yet. The devs are currently working on getting that in. This game came out years ago. And a lot like Nitro's from New Brunswick. Nice. We got ourselves a new... Free well, an East Coaster. He's not from Newfoundland, so... A Brunzy? Yeah, it is. It's strange. GM Tinker found my stream, and it turns out I'm currently working at the shop that he used to work at. So I brought him up when I was at work. I was like, do you guys know this guy, this name? And they're like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah I know him. And like, everybody that I worked with knew him because they worked there when he was there. And I, I was like, what the fuck? So some dude that I'm talking to at this live stream. And I guess if anything, it reminds you to, me personally, not to be a dink or do anything that I'd regret on stream. Because everybody's a lot closer than you think they are. Maybe anonymous here, but... They're not that far off. No, oh, no, no, no. That's not what I wanted. Oh, that was close. The crafting system is all work, by the way. It's, it wants you to work for what you get. Just so it's more devastating when it, you lose it. I think. But it's memorable for me. Yeah, it's good. They're good people there. 
Doom. Please give me a raise if you see this, my boss. You know, you know who you are. Give me more money. Streaming's fun. People are generous, but I'm not pulling twenty thousand viewers. Actually, I don't even know what I'd do with that. Like, what do you what do you do? It's just nonstop nonsense, and no matter what you do, somebody's gonna be mad, and you can't really talk to everybody. It's just. It's it's kind of funny. It's like the dream we all aim to achieve and 90% of us don't want it. But we kind of do, you know? Yeah, bit by bit. And this game is getting better and better and always, and they have a big modding community. Which my next run, I'm going to mod the shit out of it. I really, really, really want the survivors mod. Okay, so it's going to be placed that away, hey? What is that face? Nope, no, 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 don't move. There we go. What does a survivor's mod do? It adds living other people, NPCs to the world. So there's going to be these NPCs running all around and crap. Um, and some of them are hostile, some of them are friendly. You can capture them and you can like hire them and shit. So all this farming and building and crap and gathering logs, I could say go out and I've got somebody to join me. And they would be in here tending to the farms. And I think... I think I'm really missing out for not having it. To be honest. Hmm. Yeah, I did drop the axe. Because a lot of this tedium would be gone. Oh man, that would be absolutely incredible. You can also get a mod that adds like silencers in. You can get another mod that adds medieval armor and shit. I think it'd be fucking dope to be running around with, like, a mace. Like, katanas are cool and all that. But I've always thought mace would be, like, the zombie apocalypse best weapon ever. You don't need to be that accurate. It smashes skulls based on principle. It's design. It can't be made blunt. It's almost impossible to break. By, via somebody's head or body. It's just a big old piece of metal. And they're not actually that heavy in reality, either. You can swing them a lot. Build your base to clear all the zombies. I've probably been working on this game... Oh, for building the base and initially locking it down so that they couldn't get in. Took me, I think, 14 hours. Ever since then, I've just been putting in work getting crops and fields and all the other good shit. All the stuff... Oh, I think that's... Is that flowering broccoli? Or seeding? Ready for harvest. No. Useless! Useless! I need seeding. Yeah, it took a lot of work. It took a, bit, a lot of work, and I think I had five graves, uh... I get six graves full, so I had to kill 30 zombies to take this place. I'm up to 443 killed, though. The numbers climbing. But, it's not possible to kill them all. They do spawn in. It is possible for you in uh, the custom lobby to turn off respawns. So then, in theory, you could completely clear the map by yourself. And the zombies will always constantly wander, no matter what you do. So there's a lot of potential between that. There's also a mod that adds running zombies. That's horrifying. I like that idea. I think I'm going to add it in and see how fucking nasty it is. But that's, I think, the last thing I need to stay alive. Yeah, me too, guys. Yeah, me too. I don't think there was anybody here who thought I was going to live. I just knew my only hope was backwards and get my tires back on concrete. It was a slightly less dense area, and that's it. It was just slightly less dense. be honest, I thought you were screwed. Yeah, GM, take your thoughts. So everybody was like, and this is how it ends. Even I was like, and this is how it ends. But I didn't give up hope. 
A small part of my brain definitely wanted to, though. I was like, I'm fucked. That's, that's it, though. And I was like, no. No. There's a way out. I'm glad I pulled myself together enough for that. And actually, there was a second there that I tried to ditch, because I saw a gap that only I could go on foot. I was fresh. I was ready to sprint. I could have dipped around, gone past them, and just taken off. Even a brisk walk back to the fence, none of them can catch you if you're just walking. Uh, but in the car, getting stuck... No. No. Probably like 500 zombies. Yeah, I know, right? That's why I wish I could have like a bomb. That'd be so cool. Or imagine if you could build like a remote controller to put in the car and then make the car the bomb. Then it's like a boom. I don't know. Now I'm just imagining shit, but... I prefer Coke. Not because Pepsi is bad or anything, I just prefer Coke. Given the choice, I say Coke. Okay, let's let's actually build it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Okay, and now I need to oop, come on, back off. Doesn't like to go away. Okay. Now, I can't build a roof, interestingly enough, over all of it. In theory, I could just roof over to here and roof this area. Because uh, the exhaust from the generator will kill you very quickly. I'm just building uh, some soundproofing. So that the zombies, as they walk by, I had one break in, and it was because the zombies could hear it, and it was just enough when they spawned close that they would try to pass to it. And when they did that, they started attacking all the shit around me. I know the button's there, but it's blanked out. I want to try. Yeah, because I thought it was blacked out. Wait, did I not finish the damn door frame? Yeah. What? Okay, that's weird. Anyways. Oh my gosh. So I should be able to just click on it now. Oh, look at that. It's really finicky about this, though. That I don't appreciate. It looks hilarious. It looks like I'm building a wall and it's immediately... Well, it looks like I'm actually destroying the frame, but that's not what's happening. And let alone that, um, I want to because I think it's going to be nifty. I do a lot of things in this game just because I think it's nifty. Like, try to get in the fucking fire hole. Alright, but I am going to try again. I'm thinking tomorrow. Completely different technique, though. Completely different technique. O old technique? Bad. Very bad. Don't do that. Old technique? Very bad. Yep, one bite, that's it. There's a 25% chance you'll get infected even from a scratch from them. Yeah, it's not... It's not polite. You fuck around, you will die. And it took me a lot of runs even to get as good as I am at this game. Some people are apparently pretty damn excellent, though. No eyes. Once, once you get it, you're toast. Well, you have five days, then you die. 
It's just long enough for you to go through the stages of grieving. So you start with denial, then you get mad about it. Then you try to reason with it, then you try to bargain with it. Then eventually, you, well, I can't remember the other one. Reason, bargain, something else, something else. And then you just accept the fact that you're dead, and then you're guy, I just <laughs> grab a gun and go out, just guns blazing. I'd rather get torn, torn apart by a horde than just be sleeping in bed with a fever and then pass away. I will not go silently into the night. Sweatier or even more rain on? <laughs> yeah, he's just sweating. He'll be fine. Ready to die, secure your base, and get it ready for your next incarnation. Pretty much, yeah. If you want to play on the same one. I will not be coming back to this play because I want to do mods. So... I think the survivors are going to be so cool. They're going to add so much to the game. It also lets you try out all of the combat mechanics. Like, uh, if I didn't go on those killing sprees after already getting bitten, unfortunately, I would not have known, it, known that if you get into a brawl with, like, three of them, even three of them at the same time, you're done. You cannot move. You cannot attack. That's it. They just sit there and bite you and claw you and bite you and claw you. You can't push them. They're... Like, can do the thing they just sit there and massacre you and that's good to know because I might have otherwise been like you know what maybe I can take them now I know no you can't don't try it don't do it this actually was a good amount to work and I wanted to get another set of stairs up here so I can see even farther it'd be cool to have a big tower <laughs> I'm thinking I could do like stairs up then I could build up a wall then stairs up and stairs up and stairs up until I'm like standing up there. And I want to see if I can like see further that way. You know, I don't know. Five years and 50 grand of university hasn't been shot to heck. Rage, rage against the dying of light. Old age should burn and rage at the close of day. Cool. That's definitely a quote from somewhere. Where did you get that one? Actually, I'm, uh, maybe I shouldn't try so soon. Maybe I should give it about two or three days. Maybe see if I can get away with a gas run. Or figure out how to repair the taxi. I haven't done any automotives in this game yet. So I've, I'm a fucking mechanic by trade in the game too, so... By Dylan Thomas, one of his most famous poems. Cool. Oh, I will not go silently into the night. Oh. I didn't know that. I can't remember where I heard that quote from. Or will you go silently into the night somewhere? Was it Lord of the Rings? Hey, come on. There we go. There's like a sweet spot around here on the beams that you gotta click on. Is my carpentry getting boosted right now? Son of a... I don't have that book. I got a list of all the training books I have. And this is one of the very few games I think there's like a significant advantage to watching somebody live stream it. Because you can learn kind of how the mechanics work, how the crafting system works. He wrote it for his dying father. Wow. That's fucking awesome. And the fields are looking good. Cabbages are being assholes. Broccoli. I always hate the broccoli. I'm just hating on the vegetables. Come on. Let's go. Okay. So these are all seeding. I should go through and plant more radishes. Because I'm just going to try to turn these into worms so that I can get fucking birds. I technically don't need to leave my base anymore. Just so you guys know. There's only one reason for me to leave base, and that is to uh, get fuel. So if I do anything else outside of the base, it's because I'm just experimenting and having fun at this point.
radishes. Get in here. Got like a bedrillion of them. Radishes don't stop. And they're really trash food. The only real reason to grow them, I'm thinking, is worms. But I haven't seen them yield any bloody worms yet. Do I need to start the worms off or something? By slapping four worms. Let's keep an eye on that. Can four worms become more worms in here? Because that would be cool and rational. You mentioned birds and worms. One of my favorite sayings is the early bird gets the worm, but the second mouse gets the cheese. Yeah, that is that is a good one. Actually, you heard that one the other day, oddly enough. Like yesterday somewhere. Okay, let's slap down these radishes. Fuck! More of them went to seed. Okay, game? I'm gonna have to reset it tonight. I'm getting those little screen freezes. It's like it doesn't properly uh, manage its data. When the game gets all choppy. Hello there, Saeed the Great. Welcome back to the stream. How you doing, man? There's a clip that you should uh, go and check out about what happened a little bit ago. Really great. I'm very glad to see the tomatoes growing up. As much as I hate them for taking so damn long to grow, I'm just happy to be alive at this point. You should you should check out that clip though. I'm hoping Trent had got it in a good spot. He had a lot of you had a lot of practice with it, and you were getting really good at it during Tarkov streams. It's kind of an interesting system that they got going on. That's a big farm I got there. You bet, man. I'm growing motherfucking as much as I can. Winter is coming, Saeed the Great. You gotta be ready. <laughs> Fuck, they butchered his character. They butchered all the characters. What a crying shame. Okay, there we go. Damn it, I know there's one more thing I wanted to do. I forgot it again. Okay. Double go back home. Some of these filthy radishes. You have the radishes, so yeah, four worms. Just just remember that. I think we lost a Aether. Aether. Aether, yeah. Um, and he is kind of our go-to guru for asking questions, because he's far more experienced than I am. But uh, every successful man, there is a big hoe. Is that a farming saying? Or, or a pimping saying? I can't tell. Okay, we're good. Guy's exhausted. I don't, I don't need to cook anything. We're fine. Hmm. But I really do want to hit that fire. <laughs> I want to hit it so bad. And they do not want me in there. Every day the zombies get together and they make their plan about how to stop me from getting into a fucking fire department. I got the clothes. But I don't have the sledge. I don't have the extra fire axes. I don't have all the extra food and stuff. I don't, I don't know what they're going to have in there, but I'm sure it's going to be cool. What if they had like an actual pump wagon? Or whatever the hell you call that, an engine. That would be fucking awesome. I want that. 
I want to drive around in a fire truck. But yeah, tomorrow we'll fix the car. That's it. The car that saved my life. You didn't do it. You didn't. You're still not doing it, buddy. There we go. Oof. post apocalypse yeah it's true it's true you need them both most people are gonna get bored and um die of starvation okay so how do we fix car hmm i know i got a tire right over there So, I've got all kinds of parts and pieces. I just need to swap them off. Actually. Yeah, so let's pick this crap up. So I can get it into my safe garage here. Wait, that's the wrong one. Yes, it is. Risk of this. All right. That's right. It's not the fastest garage door opener, but you know what? It works. They will attack it if you path them and they keep lock on you before they stop. Kind of a weird system. But they won't if they can't get their initial pathing to you behind the desks, then uh, the desks are good. And it works also with your own crates. If they're chasing you and they run into the crate or the desk, they will attack you. So you just got to limit their pathing abilities. Pro tip, very important for you to get into building. And know what you're doing right and why sometimes they just annihilate stuff. Any boarded up windows or anything though, they take as personally offensive. Like you're deliberately sliding them. A little off center. That bugs me. You guys are like, good god, man, it's a game. Look at that, that's perfect. It still runs. What a faithful and beautiful machine. I love you, taxi cab. Do, 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 do. It's time consuming, but needs to be done. Because I know I'm just going to start working on it, and then fucking zombies are going to come up and bite me right in the back of the neck. Where I have 0% bite protection. I looked just a minute ago. It's just my neck that has zero bite protection. And like, my arms and shins, I think, only have like 20%. My head and feet are perfect, though. So, eh, you know, win some, you lose some. Okay, it's in the garage. So how in the hell do I fix you? Okay, let's take a look-see. What's wrong, Mr. Tax Cab? A lot's wrong. Engine's at 38%. Hmm. So I'm gonna need a wrench. A jack. That makes sense. Gas tank. Is the gas tank fucked up?
gas tanks at 11 percent so i was about to explode so it turns out that's not true the gas tank took a lot of the damage from me backing into him there so it comes down to jack and wrench for the most part yeah screwdriver for the windshield that's fair oh and you can just repair the hood very nice with metal sheets and small metal sheets oh oh that's super cool okay and then what about the tire friction on the road it doesn't have a tire lug wrench so jack lug wrench and a wrench cool all right and then the metal sheets can be used to fix up the actual hood of it i'm using a razor naga trinity and a black widow or black mamba keyboard um competitive edition all right you know what i'm so sick of this we're gonna reset the game real quick here i don't know what i ever got me into razor stuff it's a little bit pricey but it, any one that i've gotten has lasted a long time and i generally like to keep the same aesthetic same as i like to park the car straight i hate to have like one that doesn't match the theme of the rest yeah, just a quick game reset. The game doesn't take hours to load. Yeah, especially since I've been playing for quite some time. Okay, there we go. Oh, that was weird. Okay. Let's get ourselves a lug wrench. Yeah, I'm so glad that I went through and made sure that I got all these tools and things. A wrench and a wrench. Then I need metal sheets to repair the hood. I always carry around a screwdriver just in case I need to take apart an errant television. Metal sheets, please. Big and small. Give me the metal sheets. Five. And 13 small ones. Wow. Okay, now I'm carrying a heavy load, but... Okay, I don't have all the metal sheets that I got, but uh, quite a few. In pain, yeah, whatever. Exercise fatigue, you'll get over it. And get ready to get injured a lot. Oh, I'm no longer overweight! Oh, from my binging and eating nothing but chips and donuts in the first three or four weeks. Because you have to pick perks, and I had to pick a negative perk for being a mechanic, so I picked hearty appetite. So I had to eat a lot, but I didn't have any a lot of good veggies and everything, so... It just kind of screwed me over. Oh. That's where the screws come in. Okay, so you use screws and automotives. Okay. Not nuts and bolts, but okay. Fucking whatever. I think I have a couple screws, but uh, not many. And I do have the automotive boost right now, right? Or mechanics? Yeah, I do. And by reading books, you're capable of boosting your experience gain. If you don't do it, it'll take forever. Just weld her up. It'll hold. I think so. I have a cutting torch. I could I can just, like, you know, that'll do. I want to see what this thing ends up looking like. Because when you patch your clothes, you do get little patches all over the clothing wherever you put it. So I'm wondering once you put a bunch of sheets and stuff on it. If it's going to end up looking like some Frankenstein taxi cab. I'm hoping it does. That would be really cool. In my opinion. Okay, screws and metal sheets. I think spare parts as well is what I wanted. Yeah, these three are empty. And, oh, screws. Got a couple. Don't need wire. That's for electronics crafting. What a robust crafting system, too, though. It's kind of ridiculous. Scrap metal? No, I don't think it was scrap metal. I think it was spare parts, specifically. Well, through all of the crap that I've done... I have another fucking five screws. 
that is heinous. Oh, come on, you'll be fine. Don't be a princess. Okay, so I would like to try something out, though. Does it make a difference? Anyways. I have a rear window, but I don't have a front window. Type heavy duty. Is there a difference? Like, would I not want to have heavy duty brakes? Do I? Do I, do I not? I don't know. I'm gonna grab this crap. Three, just three of them and some small. There we go. Okay, so let's see what we can do here. So this needs to be emptied before I can do anything with it. Cannot repair. Oh, I do. I need the propane torch for the rear one. Oh, I can use. So, oh, I can use the propane torch to do it. <gasps> oh, oh my gosh. That makes my life a lot easier. Yeah, I keep dropping shit off again because everything I'm carrying is very heavy. There we go. Drop off the brakes. Suspension. Screws. I have lots of torches. That's awesome, GM Tinker. You actually can use a lot. You know what? Fine. Whatever. That's good. You get to use the torch on it. Because I wasn't about to find that many screws. That's all I'm saying. I'll be running around for seven years trying to find that many screws. Propane torches, though. They're a dime a dozen. Don't know why, but I've got lost them. That's so cool. I don't know, what do you guys think of the crafting system in this game? A little too tedious, or... Two metal sheets and a propane sheet. Okay. Potential repair, 79%. Chance of success, 100%. Okay, so... You end up getting more repairs out of using the metal sheet. Oh, and the one with the screws gives a shit repair. So this is the best one that I can do. Oh. Well, it just gets rid of it. Cool. Ah, just missing. Front left tire, 6% condition. Oh my gosh. I just need to reinflate the tire. Well. You'd be... Happy to know that I made sure that I kept a tire pump, just in case. Okay. Drop off the propane torch. It is a little bit heavy. Propane torch. It's too bad it's not acetylene. Because I know I use an acetylene torch often, so... I don't know, it just hit closer to home for me personally. You guys are like, what's the fucking difference, man? Hmm. Is that a compost box? Bag required to empty the compost. Okay, so it is filling with compost from this crap. So you go and you grab a sack, and then you can fill the sacks with compost. And oh, oh, tire pump. We'll only bring one. So I can see myself doing something and burning this all down somehow. And if not for the fact that my fucking tire went missing straight up, I could just pump some air into it. Cool. You need a diverse range of tools. I appreciate that. I'm glad they don't make you go out and search for each individual wrench. Wait a minute. Ah! You know, he said he goes to the proper corner. Good man. Okay, and that puts the tire to... Yeah, does it do anything? No. Tire pressure, 40 out of 35. Going around and doing your tire pressures. Wow. 
How many points does he put in for doing it? Oh, he brings it to easy. Oh, okay, so we wanted that 35 PSI. That makes sense. But this tire is still mostly toast and he can't repair it. So we're better off just uninstalling it. Where are you at, Mr. Tire? Performance, tire type standard. K. Okay. And I'm out of water, so I can fix that, though. And I'm out of food, so I can go get that sorted out. And I have an extra tire, but I'm going to need a second extra tire, which I'm going to steal off a different fucking vehicle. Because it's easy. Okay, fill up. Water bottles, man. Should have drank first so that he didn't immediately drink the water bottle. Okay, there we go. And let's get cooking. He's gonna put one in the pan and one in his pocket, ain't he? No, no he didn't. Oh, it's rotten. No. Fresh, uncooked, uncooked. Ooh. Shit, what did, what, what did you put in the pans? I don't trust him. So we'll add in just the uncooked stuff first, because we don't want to put in the fresh stuff. Okay, that's fine. Potatoes. The so double cabbage, double potato. Don't know why I did the inverse, but whatever. Potato to you. Cabbage to you. Just made this way more complicated than it needed to be. Yeah, this is the rotten one I gotta get rid of. It's already kind of complicated. The cooking system really needs to be streamlined. And then the last thing that they get is a tomato. Okay, good 